So uh, we got some money. I mean, I was paying attention. <laughs> so we got some money last time, and uh, how much money we each get depends on whether we agree that we're going to buy something out of our pot. And the thing that we were proposing that we buy is a null space chamber. It allows you to carry 50 bulk, 500 pounds, weightlessly. It's like a bag of holding. The catch is it costs 3,050 credits. Uh, we already have run into the problem in the last adventure where we had maybe more stuff than we could carry, just about. So I expect as we kill more people, we're going to have more loot. So this seems like a, a good investment. Is anyone opposed to that? Nope. Negative. Sounds good. All right. Uh, I, 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 think, I, I encourage it because it stuff. leaves the whole bulk inventory thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> and we also it is such a terrible it's as bad as textbooks uh turn in of cost when we get ten percent. Oh yeah. So yeah, we almost right. have to we almost have to keep everything. Just to make not, some not that Josh is being stingy or anything with with the gold, it's just that's what it says to do, you know, make it ten percent. <laughs> yeah, agree. Okay, so if that is the case, then uh what we end up with per person is uh the reward from Josh included the, the updated rewards, each person gets 1,464 credits, except for Sivian, who joined a little bit later. He gets 1,402 credits. Bob, I'm sorry, can you repeat what we get again? Yep, 1,464. That's 14, thank you. And then Sivian gets 1,402. And the only other thing I want to mention is that we didn't quite sell everything. We sold all the scatter guns. We sold the long swords. We sold the suits of Lashunta ringwear, the Kasatha microcord. We sold the Solarian crystal and the ancient elven battle armor, and a survival knife. But the stuff that we still have in the common pool is there's two ampules of lesser restoration. There's an infernal knife. Uh, Trigger has one and Ghost has one, but there is a third. These are collector's items, by the way. They're worth like. Something like 2,100, <laughs> 2100 yeah, credits. You guys yeah, you, I made a mistake. Buy You're only supposed to have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should I just scratch that one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other stuff that we have that has not been claimed, uh, well, 150 scattergun shells. I didn't sell that, Mikey. I figured you might as well. You probably could kill enough people with those. There's one leftover Mark I shock grenade. Uh, that's energy blast, 1d8 damage, 15 feet range and explodes in a, fifth, in a five foot radius. So who's taken a shot grenade? Who knows grenades? Mike knows know grenades, grenades, doesn't he? Oh, or, the, or the envoy? I know Nala. grenades. And even anything excess, we could always just leave on the ship, or now we could put in the bag of holding. That's true. I say we give you the shot grenade for now, because uh, Mikey's pretty good with a, with a rifle. Are you okay? Right, I'll grab an extra shot grenade. Okay. Uh, then we also have, since we're talking grenades, seven detonators, eight explosives. So uh, y you guys are the only two that know grenades or explosives, I think. If you throw them, that's grenade skill. If you set them, that's engineering skill. So maybe div divvy them up between the captain and trigger. Anybody disagree? I would say leave them on the ship then for... Future use? Yeah. Okay, or keep them in the uh, in the new bag of holding, the null space chamber, if we need. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, so it's Hermione's purse in the seventh in the last book. <laughs> so I I need to know, are you putting everything in the null space chamber, or what you're specifically carrying on your person? Are you carrying a Mark One serum, or is it in the chamber? And I need to know who has the chamber, because I would expect that it is a full action to remove something from the chamber during combat. Uh, Axio Dittany. Come on, we'll just use our magic spells to summon whatever we need out of it. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think it should be Ozzy because Ozzy will be in the height of combat almost always. So he'll be occupied if we really need Let's something. Get it to the bug. We need to give it to somebody who is not going to be in the middle of combat. Who's probably farther in the back. I would argue. Anyone disagree? And and who doesn't have to give us a bonus every round? Right. <laughs> So that takes out the captain. Give it to the bug. Bob, two quick questions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, the Cassantha microcord that I got, we sold that, right? Uh, no. Because I ended up going. You got. Do I still uh, have that? So you got a mega 
you got a really good piece of armor. The Kasatha micro, micro Court is only level 2. It's plus 1 EAC and plus 3 KAC. But later, you got like a level 5 armor, didn't you? I didn't, gra I didn't grab it. I thought uh, somebody else did. I thought you took it. Yeah, I thought you took it. I still, I still thought I only have the uh, second skin right now. No. No. You, no. We, we all agreed to, that you should get the really good armor. Oh, he took Tahoman's armor. Yeah. Can you refresh his memory what that was, Josh? And also, was it a shot grenade one? <laughs> yes. Okay. Just a minute. I gotta open that adventure. No problem. Adventure. Adventure. I got one, one more item that is not yet claimed. Uh, and this is a good one. This is uh, a level 5 item. It's worth 3,600 credits. It was found on Tahoman's armor. It's a Mark I thermal capacitor. And I've looked this up. It's pretty good. What it'll do is it takes your armor and gives it extra environmental protections. You can survive up to like negative 40 Fahrenheit and 170 degrees. And uh, from a combat perspective, uh, it gives you resistance five to fire and cold. So if anybody does one to five fire damage on you, you take no damage. If you take- It was a D-suit one. Ah, uh, that's it. With the Mark I thermal capacitor installed in it. Which, <laughs> now the capacitor takes 10 minutes to transfer anyone with good engineering yeah like, I'm, I'm just saying that's how it was oh, make yeah. sure if you're planning to claim it like mikey has a charging thing in his armor so he can't claim it right but it I'm, depends on how many upgrade slots you have available yes i know i only have one but i have the quick release sheath i have two upgrade slots but the uh, brown force field is currently occupying both slots so i'm capped out I a second skin and Cassandra Microcord one to sell next time or whatever. Right. You got the D one. If you want to have a list of sold. Oh, I think I made the assumption that we sold that. So the Cassatha Microcord, okay. uh, which is normally four sixty, we sold it for like forty six credits. Okay. <laughs> but now you got the D suit one. So <clears throat> Uh, do, who is there anyone else that could benefit from the thermal capacitor who does not have an upgrade? Who's going to? I do not have an upgrade. You um, do. You have jump jets. Oh, I do. That's right. I forgot mm. those were. I have a slot in my armor. If nobody has one, do you? Have Other otherwise, I'll give it to anybody who wants it. I don't. You know. What armor do you have, Mikey? Um, hold on. I got to go look it up again because the um. Carbon skin graphite. Can you look up mine too? That has one upgrade slot, and you have your recharger thing in it. Can you look up my death Oh, house? that's in a slot. Yeah, that takes up yeah. a slot. I got you. Yep, I'm. I'm, I'm I said, unless I got, you want to swap it out. Protected from the fire. No, I like having my recharger thing. Okay. The only other thing I I might think Ozzy as our tank would benefit from this because he'll be in the front lines and that would make him last longer but then you'd have i to was thinking that but i really like like not having to worry about uh uh taking out my weapon i know we kind of don't do that anyway but now i feel less guilty about it <laughs> also as a side note the the bag of holding thing should not go to the bug because he spends most of his time running away and hiding <laughs> <laughs> Is that the point he has nothing else to do? It, no, he, he can shoot and miss or cast a spell and miss, too. Oh. <laughs> You're right. So. I, hit, I hit something last time. That's true, you did hit once. Twice. All right, so who, who's taking the thermal capacitor? Uh, the only people who have slots are uh, Ilisi and... I don't. Oh, you don't, right. So No, I thought I did, but I don't. Nala I... or Sivian are the only ones who have slots open right now. If you both like it, we can roll roll for it. You can roll a one d twenty. Whoever gets highest gets the uh, gets the upgrade. Do you take it, Chris? All right, I'm not gonna argue. Okay. That means I was gonna say Jeff gets the. Uh, I don't want to keep calling it the bag of holding. Mm. But, do you want to take it? Then? No, I actually I think you should not get that because you you have to do stuff in combat. Say I think, I think get them. I Lisi should hold uh, the bag of holding thing. That sounds good. I like that. That works for me. Are you okay with that, Lisi? I sure. guess. <laughs> you, can, you can always pass sure. it on. You can always pass it 
around later. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work out. It's a, it's like a it's like a bangle bracelet. <laughs> the, que- the question really is, what do you have on your persons? Yeah, I think your- we still need to keep. Yeah, I mean that's I, I'm, I'm envisioning that's just going to be like the extra loot that we're going to sell goes into that bag. I agree. We're not going to put like we're not actually going to put our es- essence of Dittany in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, which reminds me, then we have two ampules of lesser restoration that are unclaimed, and we should, <clears throat> we should have people who have that. That's uh, if you get fatigue or ability damage or magical effects that hurt your ability score. It'll restore one to four points. Do you want to leave that with uh, one with Ialisi and one with uh, our mystic, perhaps? Sounds good. Ialisi, mm-hmm. Sivian, yep. any objection? Okay, so you each have nope. one of these. Heals one of these. Beautiful list for description. All right. Okay. I think uh, the only other item that we have left over here is I see there's a frostbite class zero rifle. Unless Trigger, do you have that? Um, I wrote it down, but I mean, if somebody wants it, but there was no ammo with that. Well, there was no ammo. You'd have to buy some ammo when we got there. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, Mikey, it's yours. Unless I hear any objection. Dude, how many guns are you carrying right now? Because there's got to be a limit. All of them. <laughs> He's um, carrying all the guns. I'm probably at my limit or over. Yeah, that, kind of the point. I mean, the sheer and eye rifle, the, the 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 frostbite, the laser rifle, and 14 pistols. There might be a limit to how much a mouse can carry. He he's only carrying one pistol. He just has 150 rounds for that one pistol. <laughs> the scatter gun. The oh, that's so. <laughs> I like it. That's very uh, Rocket Raccoon, right? With like bristling with weapons. <laughs> uh, Mike Mike believes in the New York Reload. He just drops his gun and grabs the next. We have yep. we have two more uh, inventory items, and then we're done. Uh, the Mountain Eel Leather. So we have the choice. We could either do boots or the two resilient jackets. I think we were leaning towards the jackets. Because jackets. Anyone mm-hmm. disagree with that? All right, jackets. It is. Now the important question, who gets the jackets? Hey, I have a question. Yeah. So Josh had said we could get enough to make two jackets. I'm assuming that's human-sized jackets. Could we make two rat jackets and one human-sized jacket? Or Two jackets, Mikey. Okay. I'm, oh, I, that's I, good, I, good question. Good. You just fault me for asking. That was a good question. I like that question. I mean, you are small creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand behind whoever's wearing the jacket. That's what it's it's going to be. <laughs> you will. You um. I assume it's uh, ILEC will and maybe um. Trigger uh, ghost will make those on the trip back from Castroville, so you will not have them until you leave the planet. You'll make it in, in the ship on the way. Uh yeah, to, we got a few days to kill on the on the, the way. One d six days. Oh yeah, we'll have time. So when it's done, though, how do you want to distribute? We could give it to the people who have the worst fortitude score. Because it gives you a reroll on your fortitude. I, I have poor fortitude. As does Ghost. Who else is poor fortitude? My fortitude is. It's not, I think it's just one. So you have poor fortitude God. as well. <laughs> I, I, I I do not need it, Bob. I have plenty of. I, I have a good fort. Fort is really? my best saving throw. So we got three of us. Sivian, how's your fortitude? Uh, I have no clue. Hold on. What's the plus on it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, buddy. Uh, my fortitude is plus four. So you have a better fortitude than the three of us. That's right, I do. So I say, Combined. let's roll 1d20. Whoever have the two highest roll, get the jackets. Anyone disagree with this approach? Nope. All right. Let's do it, Sheldon. Roll Everybody says it. hi, everybody. Hey, hi, everybody. Hi, puppy. We should subtract our fortitude roll from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Did you roll 17? No. Who rolled the four? I'm, I'm very no. impressive. You got a hard, a difficult bar to, to get over there. You got to beat my four. I rolled a natural five, so. Yeah. I rolled 11. <laughs> then the jackets are yours. Congratulations. Well done. The jackets go to the Lashanta. You're going <laughs> to... Uh, I'm going to just complain what smells like Mountain Eel for the rest of the adventure, though. I just, what do you that smell? <laughs> oh, it's horrible. You can't get a smell off your hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's following me. 
<laughs> uh, okay, so I think we're good on uh, on the loot distribution from the last session. You guys have your money. Uh, that leaves us with one final discussion, I think. Uh, and that is uh, Starship. Mikey, you're the you're the pilot. Uh, what do you recommend we do for our Starship upgrades? Um, so, I gotta go find the email I sent, Bob, sorry. <laughs> oh, this may help too. If, uh, if you go to this website that I'm throwing into the chat window, mm -hmm. that's the Starship Builder. And then you scroll down a little bit to where it says select a sample ship. And you can actually. Yeah, because Bob also has a. Um, uh, I mean, uh, Josh had a good point about the guns. Or Bob, sorry, Bob, you had a good point about the guns. I like what you did. And you would choose Sunrise Maiden from that drop down list. Yep. And that would be so, our level three ship, but we're all level five now. So then the next thing you would do is. Level four, Bob. Oh, sorry, level four. Good God. And if you scroll down where it says tier, change tier to four. <coughs> and that gives us an extra 20 build points to play with. Father, what is the official name of the jacket thing? Resil resilient jacket. So, to give everybody an idea, um, one of the first things I think we need to update is our shields to medium 100. That gives us 25 on the um, bow, stern, port, and starboard. Or, in this case, forward, aft, port, and starboard. I am totally in favor of, sh of the shield improvement. Anyone disagree? That would take us from 95 build points out of 115 to 102 build points out of 115. So uh, a good chunk, probably like uh, almost mm, a quarter of our points, but probably worth it to keep us from getting killed. So I, I want to bring up a, a quick point before you guys go any further. I didn't notice you kept the turret or not. But be aware that that turret will be it would be invaluable in a multi ship. Uh, we, we, we kept the turret, or multiple turrets would be. But right. So so I did not. So Josh, to your point, we kept the one turret, but I did not add a second. So we have one turret. We also have a forward gun, a port gun, and a starboard gun. So we have one turret, one forward, one left, and one right. For those of you that are not nautical. Because we don't plan on running. Oh! No. <laughs> we could, in theory, um, get rid of the port and starboard and switch to like a bottom turret. So the top turret, a bottom turret, and a forward gun. And then those two forward guns, uh, the two turret guns can swing 360. Anyway, my thought for the guns were... You want to start with the uh, forward arc, or with the first weapon mount on the forward? Yeah, so the forward, I had the high explosive missile launcher. And I, Is that Bob's tactical nuke? No. no, that's in the turret. High explosive missile launcher does 4d8 damage, costs 4 build points. That puts us at 103. It uh, has long range, so that means it can go up to 20 hexes. Um, and it's different than a like a laser because it shoots a missile. The speed of the missile is 12, and it just travels towards the target. And if it, it uses your uh, your gunnery uh, roll, Adam, and if the target is out of range, then next turn you roll a gunnery roll, and then it keeps on going if you succeed. Uh, and as soon as it comes in contact with the target, it explodes for 4d8. But you only get five of them, and then it takes about 10 minutes out of combat. Uh, to recreate more ammo. Okay, so this is the question that I'm looking to the group for some assistance on. Right now, what I have set up mm -hmm. is on the port and starboard, instead of a bottom turret, for example, split, um, split right there. are on each side, there's a light torpedo launcher. It does 2d8. This is also a question that Bob had. That also is a uh, projectile type weapon, and so so two things. Group one: Do we want to just switch to a to a turret and get rid of port and starboard side? So then we just have a top, a bottom, and a forward gun. Mm. Um, and those. Well, I, 
Yeah, the, the, would that turret be a projectile weapon, or would it be like a... No, we could also switch it to something from a, other than a projectile. Okay, yeah, because I don't want to. I don't think we should go too heavy on projectile weapons, and I like how turrets give us a choice of where to shoot. Because uh, realistically, how many guns are we going to be shooting at a time in a, in a in a round? We have more people in the ship now, so we can divvy, oh, that's up, true. divvy up the. But gun still, now. if we have two tur two turrets and a forward gun, if something's in front of us, we may be able to hit it three times. But mm. so, at any rate, we don't. We don't. I don't think we need guns on the sides if we have two turrets, uh, and if we can not put all of our money into projectile weapons that'd be best too i think yep so so we can pick uh, and i agree adam that's what bob and i were kind of chatting about if you guys were watching the email um was essentially getting rid of another projectile type winning weapon um we could use one of those anti-flat guns um we could um th there were other really cool like weapons in there as well not not as much damage necessarily um, but Bob, what if we add? What if we get rid of port and starboard and add a second turret? <coughs> Sounds good. Uh, let me see how that happens. Do I do this and create a new port mount? I think. Yep. And then that weapon mount. Uh, what would the new turret weapon be? Um. Well, I mean, we can decide on that one. I I, I have not. Um, officially decided. Do we do we want to handle that in in text? We could discuss that in roll twenty while we get everything out, or in um, uh, Discord while we get everything else. Sure, Mike. What oh, was? Yeah. Well, so we'll stick a pin on that for a second, Mike. What were the other recommendations you had for ship improvements? Okay, so the other thing, um, uh, increase our power core to pulse red, one hundred and seventy five PCU. We're going to need it. Uh, the other nice thing about, so to handle the additional weaponry, but the other nice thing about having a better PCU is that uh, I think when the engineer tries to replenish the shields, it's always like 5% of the total power. So that he makes our shield healing uh, more effective as well. I like having more shields. Yep. Okay. Are, we putting this, are you putting this in the system right now to keep track of build points and everything? I am. So we're at 104 build points out of 115. Right. My original build was 115 out of 115, so we got to figure it out now. So um, the other thing, Bob, um, uh, upgrade to medium range sensors. Okay. I'm not sure if we, like, you saw my thoughts on this one, but that's kind of metagaming a little bit. But uh, let's throw it in there, see how much it costs, and see how much we have left. Uh, thrusters, power core, frame, tier. Um, upgrade the armor to MK4 and the defenses to MK4. Hang on one second. Oh, there's sensors. Sensors upgraded to advanced medium. That puts us at 107 out of 115. Mm -hmm. What was the next item? MK4 defenses? Uh, MK4 armor and MK4 defenses. Okay. MK4 armor puts us at oh, 113 out of 115. That's armor. Uh, defenses. Trying to find those. Wow, that was a big one. MK4 armor gives you a plus four to AC. Um, defensive countermeasures, is that what you're... Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a TL. That's a... So for missiles, we have a plus four to our target lock armor class. We're sitting at 115 right now. Did you not upgrade the computer then? Or did I miss that? We haven't yet. We're going to have to see how much we're over and then make some sacrifices. What else the you other... got? Uh, that was the the MK1 Trino computer. Okay, that puts us at 116 out of 115. We're one over, and you guys might remember the comp this is the computer we had with our first ship. It gives you three plus ones per complete round to any rolls. So Josh, you had asked a question about the defenses of the ship, as far as like countermeasures. So the countermeasures that I had put in there were all attempts to board the ship. Is that in in kind of aligned with what you were expecting versus like, you know, countermeasures where we're shooting flares out to distract weapons or I, I was envisioning um either 
like the armaments in the cargo bay. If somebody tried the board, you would have weapons in the cargo bay or in a hallway or something. Um, so for to face off a boarding party or um, like the gun in the Millennium Falcon when they're fleeing Hoth that pops down and starts shooting um, stormtroopers that are coming in. So like you were racing toward the ship and some of you you engage that you activated that system to provide you cover as you ran to the ship. Okay. Those are two things I had in my head. Doesn't mean those are right or wrong. All right. I mean, mo most of what I put in place was to try to prevent people from hacking our computer system. And yeah, no, Mike, I was I was thinking on this one, like if Josh is going to have somebody hack our computer system, it doesn't matter how much money we sink into it. If for the purposes of the story, they're going to hack our computer system, like which is the same reason why I'm like thinking maybe we don't put a lot of money into sensors. Not many. Because if, if, if he's <laughs> he, gonna, he admitted it was kind of meta. Yeah, if he's gonna attack us, we're gonna get it was attacked. Meta. <laughs> so that's why I'm arguing. Let's not worry too much about countermeasures because we're gonna get hosed no matter what. <laughs> now I'm really gonna do it to you. That sounds fair to me. <laughs> so uh, that in mind, I could take our sensors back down to just medium instead of medium advanced. Hell, then put another nuclear tactical missile launcher in the bottom turret. Oh, yeah. We're at one, well, we, we have to make sure we're under our build point cap. We're at 113 out of 115. Um, I'm looking to see where light particle beam exists on the first turret. We don't have a second turret, though. I don't see... The first, the first turret... Oh, I see. How to create a new turret mount. Got it. Ooh, creating a new yeah, turret. Yeah. How do so I... our forward our forward gun is the high explosive missile launcher. The original turret is the tactical nuclear missile launcher. We're getting rid of the port and starboard guns. Yeah, when and I... we're putting a second turret on the bottom of the ship. So the only thing is, when I got rid of the port and starboard, we didn't lose build points, which is kind of weird. Um, maybe I need to set them to none instead of upgrading and then downgrading. Uh, I'm not sure why. It yeah, didn't. I think you do need to set it to none to get the point. Yeah, so I think I built this wrong. But let me let me get the rest plugged in there. So we'll add in a tactical nuclear missile launcher, which makes me very happy. <laughs> uh, any other improvements? The drawback to Bob is if we add another tactical n nuclear missile launcher, we we'll back to all three uh, projectile weapons. Oh. That is a challenge. Is one nuclear missile launcher enough for you? I think so. I'm okay with one. That's still five nukes that we can fire per battle. When you get that set, Bob, can you paste the JSON into Discord? Yeah, it's uh, it's broken right now because I removed the port and starboard, so it's still keeping their point values in there, even though it should be subtracting. But I'll send that your way right now. You guys can fix that as well. Oh, so when you get it, so when you get it set up, I just want to look it over. Absolutely, uh, I'm gonna throw it into general in the Discord chat, and there's the JSON. Uh, ooh, your message. Is the text. Why don't you email it? There it is. Yeah, if it's too big. That's searchable, and there's a record that's long, last long. It and I'll actually make a uh, tab in my OneNote for it. Lasts longer than permanently. Yeah. So Bob, just to give you an idea. Um. Like the weapon that's going to be in this one is going to be pretty small because most of the weapon, most of the bigger weapons, are like ten to fifteen points. Understood. Uh, so I'm sending you all sending you the current build, but it's broken because I incorrectly removed the starboard and aft weapons. So I think I have to redo it. But at least you'll have this. So it looks like it's really expensive right now, but I, I don't think it should be. I'm going to try to rebuild it right now. Okay, so to recap, we've got the Sunrise Maiden. And then it's been upgraded to level 4. And then the frame is still the Explorer. The PCU is 175. That puts us at 97 out of 115. We've got the Mark IV armor, which puts us at 103 out of 115. The computer gets upgraded to the Mach 1 tri-node. That's at 104. 
Uh, the defenses go from Mark III to Mark IV. That puts us at 106. Uh, we have sensors left alone, shields set to 100. That puts us at 113 out of 115. I am removing the port weapon. Oh yeah, now we get some points back. And the starboard weapon. Because I know what. Now we're at 109. Uh, are we replacing the original turret with uh, something else, Mike? Can you remind me what the... The original turret is the nuclear laser missile thing. Okay. Now so we're... you have no turrets then. Well, we have to add in a new turret now. Now we're at 109. What was the second turret weapon going to be? Um, the second turret weapon uh, could be uh, the gyro laser. Um, that should give us enough points. We're at 109 out of 115. We have six points to play with. Uh, and this is the last thing? Uh, we could do as many as six weapons will fit. <laughs> so you could do a, a, a coil gun, 44. Um, you could do the gyro laser. You could. Um, I'm just looking for coil none. Gun is four, coil gun is four points, right? Uh, six points. Six points, right, OK. So that would put us exactly at 115. Uh, yeah, sure. OK, I have the updated build. Uh, we didn't get your thrusters, though. That's the only catch. Uh, the thrusters, hang on. Uh, I'm going to send you the updated, uh, updated build. Uh, I, left them, I left the thrusters at the M10 thrusters, which is what it had. Oh, okay. We didn't upgrade the thrusters. Yeah, we didn't upgrade those. I'm just noting that a uh, nuclear missile has a speed of 12, and our ship currently has a speed of 10. So yeah. if anybody fires a nuclear missile at us, uh, we're going to be hard-pressed to outrun it. <laughs> well, even if we upgrade, you're not going to outrun it. <laughs> Although, if we kept the computer... How much does it cost to upgrade the thrusters to uh, M12? Ah, if we downgrade our computer back to its original setting... We so can... Upgrading the thrusters is one point. Yeah, and downgrading the computers is one point. So if you keep the computer at, at a two plus ones, you can get a 12 speed ship. I think that might be worth it. But it's up to you, you're the pilot. I mean, I, I mean, we're still not out running something that's shooting a 12 if we're moving a 12. Well, the engineer and I, I think the computer people can boost your speed for a couple of rounds with some, some tricks on their side. And you may have some stunts on your side that'll boost your speed as well. I'm not sure. I'm okay with the computer because I can always ha I, I have my own computer. I'm, it built in. Oh, it, one more I, downside. If we increase the speed to 12... Your piloting modifier goes to minus one, so... Yeah, I know. that. Well, that was the other thing that I noticed. Eight. Right now it's at a zero. Yeah. Your call, my friend. You, you, you're you the pilot. you got to deal maybe, with these decisions. Maybe we upgrade the thrusters next time. Okay, I agree. And we'll keep the computer back up to uh, try yeah. it. Yeah. It was a ship. Okay, so I think yeah. I have the final build, and I'm going to send this out one last time. What's a, what is our ship? The Hellfish 3? We got a flying, flying Hellfish 3. Oh, thank you. All right. Here's the last uh, update, and you guys can take a look and see if you like it. No, it? Uh, turn away, park, park it off our way through. Okay, that's the last one. All right, good session, everybody. We'll see you guys. It's been fun. <laughs> so you have a, a gyro laser on the forward. You have a flak thrower in the back. You have a, two turrets now, one with a coil gun, one with a tactical nuclear missile launcher. Um, your shields are at 100. Your defenses are increased by plus four to each. AC 14, TL 14. Your ship's got 65 hit points. 
speed of 10, good maneuverability, takes one turn to turn, and uh, you get plus two to computers, plus one to piloting, and plus one to any four checks per round. So it's doing pretty good. Oh, I can't read anything that's in your email. You you take that. That's the JSON. Oh, here I'll give you the. Oh oh you okay? You said the JSON version. Okay, forget it. Sorry, let me give you the actual output there, and I'll throw it into Discord as well. Cool. It's in Discord also. Sweet. All right, we're now we're killing it. Uh, Josh, would you like to start and do something tonight? <laughs> no, I, I was going to say, you know, next time, why don't you ask me on Wednesday and do? <laughs> and then we'll hey, play on Monday. I pretty much gave. Uh, uh, listen, I actually did something before, like ten minutes before we started. He did. <laughs> That's true. Did you he level did, off? Like... Yes. Whoa. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So everybody leveled up before we actually started. Yeah. I yeah. Did. Oh. oh. Wait, do we uh do we want to go around and just say what's the highlight of your level no. up? No, I I leveled up only because Adam sent that awesome email. Yes, Adam, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry I missed uh, adding spells. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually about send that out again right now with spell. So, Josh, you should give him a raise or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, you missed the part where we laid off twelve people and everybody got ten percent pay cut at my office today. Oh, I, I did miss that part then. Um, wow. Adam, be thankful you got a goddamn job. Oh, shut up, you <laughs> freaking slacky. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to get your raise. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, and look what happened. <laughs> you lost 10%. <laughs> it's a negative 10% raise. <laughs> Thanks, Jules. Jules, yeah. Jules has got executive like, written all over. Like, instead of like, you know, when you told your father, you know, Dad, I need a raise. You know, here's a ladder. <laughs> yeah, maybe access to the basement. Hmm. Hey, one my up my upgrade. You guys might be interested in. I took hurry, what's, and as a standard that? action, I can grant a single move action to an ally within sixty feet. You can use that move action during your next turn to take a guarded step, move up to your speed, draw or see the weapon. Wow. You can use your extra move action in between for your other actions. Uh, and you can even use it before or after a full action. That's really Ooh. interesting. Okay, so it's an extra move action on your on the person's turn, not on Nala's turn, correct? Right. Okay. So it's you another are way that forward. you're Alexander Bellows. <laughs> so we we could have possibly gotten Ghost to go that far last week uh, or uh, two weeks ago. There. Wow. As long as he was in a straight line both times. Although a run is a total action, but anyway, moving on. Or we could get Adam into position, attack, and then have him be able to get out of uh, harm's way at the same time. You well, know? I should let yeah. you know, I, I think this is going to synergize nicely with what I just got for uh, for fourth level. I've got two things that are going to make Josh's life uh, annoying. Uh, for starters... Two more. Wait, wait, let's clarify that. Two more. <laughs> Please be able to interrupt something. Please be able to... No, I can't. <laughs> Not that bad. But, uh, Jeff, if you were to give me a move, I can now choose a target, and when I move past that target, they cannot use an attack on me. They can't get the opportunity attack on me. So I've got uncanny mobility. I can choose one person, and as part of a move action, basically waive their ability to get a swipe on me as I walk past. Um, and then the other thing the other that benefits everybody in the group is now, if I do a trick attack, I can either make the guy have negative two AC and no reaction until the start of my next turn, or minus two to all attacks. So basically, I think I can give all of you uh, plus two to hit until my turn starts. So that's kind of cool. I think that, that's, yeah, that's awesome yeah, I either spells. way. Yeah. What spells did you guys get? I bought new armor too. What'd you buy, and what spells did you pick up? Um, I got some level two spells. Um, caustic conversion, which is a uh, ranged attack that does four d four acid damage. Ooh. Um, the important plus part. Five tools additional is... damage in subsequent rounds. Did you write this all down somewhere that's easily accessible? Yes. Good. Um, so you leveled then... up your game as well. 
So wait, Jules. <laughs> That's good. Jules, one question. Yeah. Are you accessorizing with your new gun? Because your gun does acid as well. Yes, I have lots of acid now. They complement each other. Stand back. Um, She's the acid queen. Mm -hmm. Pay before we start. And then I got um, Inject Nanobots, which is a by touch, but it does 4d8 and causes confusion. Don't stand next to her. Wow. Wow. And Wait, I, are you sure you haven't already used that on, on Ozzy? Because he's always confused. <laughs> <laughs> nice ones. And what was the armor that you picked up? I got the Defrex Hide, which is plus five to both EAC and KAC. Nice. So the, yeah, seeing as my all, my dex bonus is like plus one, so those are helpful. Adam, what did you do? Uh, I picked up. Uh, I got a, a combat feat. I picked up uh, improved combat maneuver for dis. So I have plus four to disarm attacks now, and I think I'm going to take a personal upgrade to strength as well. Bring my strength to a twenty. Whew! Nice one. Uh, but I got to talk to the to the to the big man about that because that's a purchase, not a not a level up. Thing. Oh, I should ask too because I think I wanted to use the fourteen hundred to do a uh, plus two to dex uh, personal upgrade as well. All right, so um, we're going to start on Castrovel. If you bought equipment and put on your character sheet already, you're welcome to purchase it there. Um, when we get to Absalon Station, then you can pay for your augmentations. Okay, Is that fair. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Sivian, what did you do? Yes. Dark vision? I had uh, the ability to go ahead and take another second level spell. Uh, actually, I, I found out that I was doing it all wrong. But anyway, I took uh, two. I took Force Disc, which uh, Josh hopefully knows about, never got to use, but knows about, uh, where, where you attack um, up to five creatures. First creature takes 3d6 damage. And the remainder creatures uh, creatures are two d six, and uh, I believe it's a will save. Um, and uh, I took the two mind, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is four d ten damage. And uh, I think that's that's all I had to do. Four d ten. So basically, you're Tahoe Min now. You have all the spells that Tahoe Min used on us. Yeah, you copied me entirely. Copy Tahoe Min. That, yes. uh, that one mind thrust took me down to five hit points from full health. That was just one oh, mind and, thrust. And I did find that Mystic Cure, now you know that I'm actually reading, <clears throat> mm. uh, <laughs> that if, if, if the number of hit points exceeded in my roll, I get to use them myself. Or if I don't mm. roll enough hit points, I can donate hit points to the, to the player, which oh. is pretty interesting. Liz wants to say goodnight, everybody. Or hi. Good night. Hi. Hi. Hey. hi. hi. <laughs> Going to sleep off awful early, aren't you, Liz? Jeez. No, I, I, I misspoke. Yeah. She's getting she's still. Did you enjoy the early bird special? I hear that Matlock. He's a very handsome man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Don't forget your. Bye. And Trigger. Right. What did you get for leveling up? Uh, so I got a, um, I got an upgrade to my Exo Cortex, and I also got a new mechanic check. Uh, I decided so there were two that I was that I was going between, um, overcharge and overclocking. Um, I decided to go with overcharge. Uh, basically, what overcharge does is, as a standard action, you can use your custom rig to overcharge an attack with a ranged energy weapon or a melee weapon with the powered special property hmm. uh, that you're holding. If you hit, you deal an extra 1d6 additional damage. Oh. Um, so this attack uses three times as many charges from the battery uh, or power cell as normal uh, and can't be used if you don't have enough charges. Um, you can also instead use this ability as a move action on a touched powered weapon, if that weapon is unattended or attended by an ally, to grant the same effect to that weapon's next attack before the beginning of your next turn. Oh, so you can not only overcharge your weapon, but you could choose to overcharge somebody else's weapon. 
Right. So if I'm standing next to Ozzy, I could overcharge his weapon. That is cool. Um, and I took that over overclocking, which is uh, basically augmenting my AI. Uh, it would have given me a plus two to my initiative, and it would have given me a plus two to reflex saves. Mm. Um, yeah. But I, my, my mechanic trick upgrades every two levels, so I can always add that. Pick that up later. Yeah. So nothing to sneeze at. Level four level ups were pretty solid, especially in the spell department. Now, oh, also I have thirty stamina points and twenty six hit points and seven temporary hit points. Holy moly! How did you get ten hit points? Uh, my exocortex has a. Uh, the first mechanic trick I took was called energy shield. Okay. Right. Um, and actually, once I get to eighth level, I'm going to <laughs> double that. That's very oh. nice. Wow. So we're gonna finish seventh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did everybody go or no, wait, no, did I, I miss it? Eight, I meant seven, sorry. <laughs> I think that's everybody. That's I think right. we're all caught up. All right, Mr. Adam. I must have talked about this. Okay. So all right, eight oh one. Alright, so when we last left off, you guys had uh found the Temple of the Twelve. You had defeated the Guardian. You had defeated Tahoman. Oh, yeah, we did. Unlock, uh, rescue Dr. Solastarni. Unlock the secrets of the temple to Dr. Solastarni, who's doing research for you. And you recovered one pile of stuff on the floor. <laughs> one magic crystal. Which will be explained shortly. Oh, come on. Magic crystal. Yes, put your my daughter in right there. Um... You were able to find a because through the through the joys of uh, game of uh, metaing, there was a portal right there to take you back to uh, Cabaret. So now Doctor Solstarni can go and do her her studying at will, and that will obviously come into play in the long run. Um, before I forget, Jeff had two bennies, Jules had one, Mike has three, Bob has two, Adam has three, and Chris has none. So should they come into play? That is the count. All right. So you've been gone in the wilderness for almost or for over a week. Uh, That's so a while. so things have changed, and uh, you make it. To, you return to Cab Rat. Uh, you're and there's a plague that's taken over. Everyone's inside. <clears throat> you need and to keep you're... your spacesuit helmet on now. Everybody must keep helmet on. <laughs> it's in the law. So uh, I checked the news. The news for I was almost said newspaper. I checked the news for uh, news of the rock. Oh, of the drift rock. Uh, much to your disappointment, um, not a lot of progress has been made there. They're still at odds over it. Uh, what you brought back uh, has been certainly um, gone over to, to, to in, in minute detail, much like any nerd for a Star Wars trailer. Um, <laughs> But there has been a lot of um, a lot of speculation, a lot of guesses. The information you guys um, that uh, triggered downloaded to his exocortex and gave to the Starfinders has not come out. So the Starfinders have a great deal more information that they will probably share with you at some point in the next twenty minutes. <laughs> um, and that is the extent of the rock. The Acreon was handed over to the Hard Scrabble Collective, the Creon. Uh, but the rock itself is still in dispute. You are uh, celebrated as heroes by the university for bringing Dr. Solostarni back, and you've been um, honored, you've been invited to come receive a reward and honorary degrees. What? That's awesome. Mm. So, I mean, the, doctor, you know, the Cabaret University is a That's fairly so well respected throughout the, the packed worlds. Does that mean I can go practice medicine on people now? <laughs> It's an honorary. I got, I got rejected from there just two years ago. <laughs> you're not, you're not bitter or anything though. You saved a lot of money getting this degree. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to speak to the graduating class. I have some words I would like to share. With <laughs> so, uh, so the, the crew is actually escorted to Al Karai Hall into a large room where there's a reception in honor of them taking place. There are perhaps forty or fifty individuals. Many of them clearly professors or grad students from their parents. Uh, after uh, uh, some schmoozing, some socializing, you guys are the talk of that. There's a line of people to talk to you. There's always one more person. 
Uh, I'm guessing that this is Ghost Nightmare being in a public place and having to act like a nice person. Uh, he's he's acting like an old albino rat with monocles and, and a bit of a cane. His, his holographic uh, disguise is working overtime right now. But he can be cranky since he's cranky anyways. He just seems like he's a cranky old albino rat. I see. Lisey's loving it. But they know who he is. I mean, they... they, they you was that, was that the... Were you in disguise when you were in Ukulele? Mm-hmm. Always wearing okay. a disguise. Okay, so they, they recognize you as, as who you are. Uh, after perhaps a half hour, 45 minutes, great social discomfort. Wait, how's uh, the food situation? Is there like a, is there a buffet table? Oh yeah, the buffet table, there's drinks. There's, it's not, a, it's more of a, 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 an appetizers, but there's some heavy ones. There's a carving station, pasta station. Ghost is over to the buffet table, and he is just stuffing stuff in his cheek pouches for later. He's got, like, a week's worth of food. He's, hey, Trigger, you need to try these little mayonnaise rolls. They are very good. So g- give me a perception check, Bob. Uh, okay. About the mayonnaise rolls? Uh, 15. So clearly it's a vegan mayonnaise, so it's not nearly good. But uh, you, you out of the corner you are, you definitely see some people. Giving you to look like, okay, so that's what we expect from a Yasoki. Looking down their nose, a little at you. Ghost you of... maybe you could have made that impact you at all? Like just... Wait, I thought the perception role was to see if he could find those little mini hot dog buns. He doesn't really care about the people, but maybe there's other food that he's noticed in that perception role? Because he doesn't Bob, care about people's impressions. Bob, tell me the one food, and I will give you a Benny. You, you're the only person at the table who would know this food. Every year. Oh, Chombo? Nope. I got nothing. Swedish meatballs. Sweet. Wait, what's the reference? I'm missing it. Babylon 5. Oh, Babylon 5. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I started watching Firefly this weekend. So funny. Andrea and I, I convinced her, and we're up to episode 10 now, and uh, it's been 10 years trying to convince her, and it only took a global plague to finally get her to sit down. <laughs> Are, is this the first time you're watching it? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? I've only watched the first episode. Oh, so. okay. Oh, you, I'm envious of you. You're in for some fun. Ty and I just started Briscoe County Jr. Oh! That's really, it's fun. It's fun. That's a great one. An- another sad one that didn't make it. Agree, but they had a nice resolution. So, uh, so after a little while, an older um, distinguished Lashanta comes in, and Sivian, you recognize that as Professor Mahali the um, head of the university and uh, he walks to the slowly walks to the front of the room with a small stage taps the mic for a second like this everybody quiets down right right away and he drones on into a speech which you feel is you, your fear is going to last forever um, but he, he said you know, he, he, he praises your historic effort between Dr. Solistarni you've opened up a historic find unlike anything that's been found in over a century so it's been a, it's been a really big deal. Um, so in appreciation, he he, he takes out um, a, a stack of uh, of certificates and he invites each of you up one at a time. To and he, he makes you stand up there. Okay. So wait, what uh, what is what is this? Is this is, what, are what these is, credits? What what is this? So so he calls you up and he gives you he gives you this degree from the University of Cabra. Degree and in he, what? Desired. Wait, you mean this is not a real degree? What what can I do what with this? What am I supposed to use this for? Yes, I'm with Alisi. What is this? What What is this? That's what the heck? Well, this is what you give us? We save your they people? They call us up here. They call us heroes. And then they give us a certificate. It's a, it's a diploma. It's an honorary degree. What am I supposed to do with this? Ask I don't Bill have Cos- an office to Ask hang Bill it Cosby. in. <laughs> I don't have so an he, office to hang it in. He lines you up and then he brings out the big check. The big, you know, three foot long four check. I like this as one. A, as, a, as a research grant. Because <laughs> we already did the research. Uh, of 6,000 credits, which you've already allocated, I know. Wait, how much is tuition per year at the university? Uh, it depends on your major. And are you going to live on campus? And well, so can, I, can I attend remotely? Can I get a degree like while having adventures at night? I could take night classes? You can take night classes. <laughs> It's hard to do when you're in drift space. Oh, that's a thing. 
the Professor Mahali, after he fin after finishes everything, he turns to Nala, who has been identified as the captain. Uh, we and, got, sorry, time out. Do, do we have an echo going on? Is there? Yeah, a, we have an echo. Now. Have an echo. Maybe everybody can mute. Uh, we can see that the echo goes. Yeah, around. Chris is echoing. No, you just have to look in Discord and see who's who's lighting up. Yeah, that was uh, me. I uh, I had my headphones unplugged. Sorry. <gasps> Thanks, brother. So, uh, Professor Mahali hands the microphone to Nala and says, uh, do, do you have any uh, words you wish to, to impart to, as, as you know, if you have any you as a group wish to say? Uh, I go on about how uh, important it is to help out our fellow investigators, and uh, this was uh, a uh, research um trip then we learned a lot and hopefully uh further research can be done on the temple that we went to yeah Lisi grabs the mic i don't know how much we were supposed to talk about that it was a uh kidnapping and <laughs> that, was, that was known or not known or alicia is your mother in the crowd by the way did you invite her to this thing no I, Alicia... was there enough time for her to be invited to this thing Ayelisi's mother was uh, unavailable. Because you're not mentally no, unstable no, enough to play her right now. <laughs> no, there's actually information that will come forth later. Oh! Okay. So. Lisi grabs the mic and starts rambling about completely irrelevant things. And Dr. Mahali says, All right, now please everybody uh, socialize <laughs> and enjoy our hospitality longer. As you guys spread out and mingle, did you want to speak or are you just rambling? I'm just rambling. Okay. Um, go now, uh, we now, all go to the way and leave her up there. Well, Ozzy had something to say. If you can grab the mic from from uh, from not, uh, Ilisi. Um Okay, so give me an opposed strength check. <laughs> uh, I win. <laughs> I give her a dirty look. <laughs> hey. There might be an opposed eye roll check. <laughs> okay, everybody gets to pass the mic around and say a few words. Does, do you, Ilisi, do you want to say anything specific, or do you just ramble for a few minutes? I want to say thank you, and I'm so excited to have this this sheet of paper that says that I did something, and and, and I just want to say thank you. And oh my god, I'm so excited! I've never done anything like this before. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, Ozzy yanks it out of her hand before she breaks the glasses with her high pitched squeals. Mike is so unamused. I find it hysterical. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ozzy. Ozzy says, remember, be excellent to each other. <laughs> oh, and please. party on, dudes. <laughs> Wait a minute, In addition, San Dimas High School Football Rules. <laughs> <laughs> does, does anybody else need, that is all. Does anybody else want to own the mic for a minute? Baby kid yeah. does. All right. So you guys... Um, spread out throughout the room, I guess, a little bit. And Nala is approached by a, a male grad student, and he passes her an invitation uh, to meet with Emeritus Professor Reseva. And mm -hmm. uh, Nala, you recognize that as someone your grandmother spoke of from time to time, who was a fellow Starfinder. Male grad student? What's he wearing? Uh, tight pants. Oh. And a shirt that's yeah. going to be, and you can kind of see his green skin. Do we have to put that in Captain Dummy speak form? No. <laughs> Emeritus Professor Reisema. They, they live outside the city. It's for uh, the next day. Josh, Ghost is, Ghost is looking for uh, an appropriate mark. Uh, people are drinking. He's looking for somebody who seems to be well off. These professors, you know, once they get tenured, they're just raking it in. So who's a good person you can pickpocket in this crowd? <laughs> <laughs> um... The crowd disbands pretty quickly. There's still a few professors left. None of them particularly well off. You're welcome to just pick one. Yep. He's going to pick one. He's going to do his best choice. And uh, is that sleight of hand? I think that's sleight of hand, right? Sure. I don't know if it's stealth or sleight of hand, but we'll go sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand's pickpockets. Okay. Uh, 24. <laughs> uh, you find, you, you reach into his pocket as. Uh, you, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. And collect 76 credits. Excellent. 
Spend the money. Dude, we just got a thousand each. Come on, behave yourself. What? <laughs> what are you looking at? I rolled a twenty-four. You saw nothing. Here, eat this hot dog bun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the uh, the event winds down after an hour or so. Dr. Solistani once again thanks you profusely and uh, says, you know, I've already made, uh, I've already, I can't, I can't stop. I, I, I'm not even sleeping at night. I'm researching, I'm reading so much, I'm learning so much. I hope to have a full report to Chiskix by the time you get back to Absalon Station. Uh, it's Dr. So Solistani saying this? Yes. Uh, doctor, I believe that's the PTSD. You should probably seek counseling if you can't sleep. No, this is the most exciting. Re you have no. It's like my life. My life's work coming to fruition. Uh, professor, professor, uh, you know that this is a uh, weapon that can destroy the sun. Yes. Yes, that, that, that's exactly. That's what it looks like. It is. I'm, I'm trying to confirm that now. For right. So maybe not a good idea to tell the press about this. To tell other people. You know, there's always a cult that wants to kill the world. Maybe you keep this to yourself. And that's why I'm telling Chiskix about it, so that they can get you to save the world, save the universe. Oh, that's awesome. We're going to save the universe. <sighs> Goes, shakes his head. Imagine how much time we're going to spend together. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, like, dudes, um... Like, I'm not doing anything anymore since, like, I got my degree now, so mind if I kind of tag along? I like Please. him. I think he should stay. They should stay. I don't know what you're throwing out. They, 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 it's what I thought. What, the boatman well, is going to stay in our ship with the goblins? I... No, he can leave the ship. He can leave, he can bunk with the goblins, right? <laughs> the goblins bunk in a... They bunk in a closet. They bunk in the back of the engine it looks kind of like a rat's nest. It's a, but it's, it's like some cardboard boxes. And hey, that's tape. racist. Um, you know that kind of stuff. It's, so it's all. The, it's all. It's all. So the, the Ahsoka goblins stay. <laughs> Actually, it's all Trigger can do to keep them from bringing too much refuse in, <laughs> making it a garbage pile back there. <laughs> well, you know, if you come with us, you will die. That is. Uh... Almost inevitable, and you are the new guy, so you are most definitely going to die. Are you okay with that? Have, have yeah. we have we have we looked at the uh, the uh, um? Oh damn it! Hang on a second. I I'm gonna ruin the joke now. Darn it! <laughs> uh, have have we looked in the uh, the crew quarters for clothes? I believe that uh, the only clothes we have that would fit a Sharon are uh, a crimson color. Is that right? Red shirts? Yes. <laughs> yes, I think you are right. I, only the red ones are left. You will have to wear the red uniform, Sivian. <laughs> oh, it's all right, man. I bring some bleach, man. We'll tie that right up. It is good. Now, when we go on the away mission and the captain says, I need someone to investigate that cavern, you will say, <laughs> yes, captain, I will uh, do it. Or we will make sure never to refer to you by name. Right. Right. And uh, Bugman, if the captain says we need someone to explore that pool of water, it looks very peaceful, you will say, yes, captain, I will explore the pool of water. Uh, all right, you know, just, uh, just like being along. All right, I think we can work with this one. I like him now. He is good. I, I want his things after he is dead. I call dibs on his things. <laughs> all right. We good. So as you're leaving the university, um, Ozzy, give me a perception check. Give me just a second. Oh, uh, welcome <laughs> Sorry, I was working on a macro. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. That's easy. Oh no, it's not. You caught me off guard. <laughs> I wanted. Yeah, to Adam doesn't usually have to. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh man. Come on now, Adam, you could do better than this. <laughs> do I need the roll please? <laughs> no, I got it now. Sixteen. Oh, okay. okay. At least that was a legitimate roll. So as you're as you're walking to the university, you actually see a flyer posted up 
and it's got your picture on it. <laughs> and I, I, you know, to everybody else, you know, a vesk is a vesk, but to you, you see yourself. <laughs> and it's a, uh, it is a celebration, and inviting people to come to a celebration to learn about the acts of Anc- Anclerus, which is your given the best name, correct? That is correct. Anclerus Hugh. Anclerus Hugh. So um, apparently your friends from Absalon Station have been busy. Are you going to go to the celebration to see what it's about? <laughs> no. It's, 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 no, Ozzy's going gonna to look for every flyer he can find and burn them. <laughs> he, will, he will burn each one with his breath, spend a resolve point, burn the next one, spend a resolve <laughs> point, burn the next one. <laughs> Hey, he wait, might... Ozzy, what is that you are burning over here? Oh, what nothing. is this? There's nothing here. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm not burning an... anything. Oh, there is another one right next to it. Let us see. Oh. Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. No, Ozzy, there isn't. Ozzy, Ozzy, is that you? Is that you? Is that you? Uh, no, it's just some other vest. You know we all look this same. totally Ozzy. Oh, my God. You have a cult. <laughs> That's I believe so it's... cool. I've always wanted to have a cult. I believe it's those young uh, Vesk we met on Absalom Station who saved, oh, that's cool. I like intervened in go. our attack on the cultists. Hmm. I'm gonna go. That sounds cool. He has a cult of personality. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you burning the paper? Do you not want to go there and be worshipped by your adoring fans? Uh, they are misguided. Even Yes, exactly. They are misguided. Of course you must go there. <laughs> You can take advantage of them. They can give you things, money, assistance, <laughs> services. What is the problem? Ghost, you are forbidden from going. Ghost, you should come with me. I will go with you. I definitely <laughs> am going with you. <laughs> All right, so who's going? I'm going. <laughs> Ghost is going. Sivian's always loving a party. I think we should all support Ozzy. I guess so. <laughs> Nala? I guess so. Ozzy, you're going to recant and go with the group or just stay out of it? I, I, Ozzy, Ozzy will look to borrow that disguise that, uh, to, you know, can, anything, anything he can do to disguise himself and go to this ridiculous. I can help him out. All right, give me a, a what's that skill, Jeff, would you say? Disguise. Is there a disguise skill? Yes, there is. Okay. Sure. The skill that helps somebody get this. Okay. Okay. Roll your, roll the sky skill for me, Jeff. I'm gonna. Oh, give yeah, you, I'm gonna give you an eight on that, Jeff. If I make higher than ten, you get a plus two. So you get a plus two from me. Then sixteen total. All right. So you you change some of Ozzy's coloring. You uh, adhere a couple of horns that uh, he didn't have before. Yeah, uh, fake, I mean, you guys spent all your time with you, brother. Big mustache, glasses, big nose, glasses, big nose, <laughs> uh, trench coat. <laughs> yeah. Now Ozzy looks like three little kid lizards standing on top of each other's shoulders in a trench coat. <laughs> Sunglasses. <All right>. <laughs> so you you uh, you make your way to the celebration, which is being held in a, a large outdoor park. There's over a hundred beings there, of many different races. Uh, most are kind of in a rapture of what's going on, and you there's like a small stage area where the, the you recognize two of the Vesk from Absalon Station, and there's there's some talking and some chanting, and in mm-hmm. in and, and, and even your most pained world, you never ever thought that they would Jay. sing about you. <laughs> <laughs> the man they call. Anklerus, the man they call me. <laughs> <laughs> so they, there's there's singing. It is truly far far different than anything you would have expected. They they do spend a great time and and, and harp on uh, protecting those who can't protect themselves and doing the right thing versus what you're told or ordered or expected to do. And they, 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 your, your deeds are, they recant your deeds, maybe slightly exaggerated, but not horribly so. Not yet, at least. If, if there's somebody who's been, been locked in like a, a three by three by three box for the past five years waiting for me, I'm not going to be happy. 
<laughs> no. Are they drinking as well, Josh? Is there revelry? Uh, it, it's it's more about the milk. There there is not. There may be a couple guys passing drinks around. Okay. But it isn't that kind of. It, it's it's more like a. It's more reverent. Yeah, no, not so reverent. It's a celebration, like, and I don't want to sound racist, but like a a southern black church where they're clapping and singing and and that kind of thing. Ghost, there, there's there's a lot of engagement. Ghost will approach some someone who has a drink in hand. Hey, what is what is the big deal here? Who is this person you are all happy about? I I don't know. I just I, I was intrigued and I came and it said it makes a lot of sense what they're saying. You know, you got to do the right thing. Just do yeah. it. Yes, I see. Yes. Now, if you excuse me, he, you uh, see her. I'm going to go do that thing. Of and course. And he off after a hot. Ghost taps what him you, on the on the back. Which is too is a hot chick. <laughs> Ghost pats uh, him on the back as he passes, and sleight of hand wants to pick his pocket. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, there it is. Uh, eighteen. So you managed to, yes, you, you managed to. You reach into his pocket, you shuffle around in there. This is the definition of a poor college kid. You find like four pieces of lint, and uh, you know not much else. Two credits. Two credits. Two credits. You stole his last two credits, ghost. Success. He's gonna be hungry tonight. <laughs> not gonna have enough credits for his. Space ramen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything else you want? It, it, it's clear, Ozzy, that uh, much to your chagrin, I guess, that these these Vesk are taking to heart what you said and spreading your spreading the word of it, whether you want them to or not. Uh... <laughs> Ghost, you know how I said previously that you were not allowed to come here. Yes, Ozzy. Yes, lizard man. Go have fun. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at you. You are a new lizard now. <laughs> I think I think everybody should know who you are. Hey, is that is that him? Is that Ozzy Mandias right there? I think it's. <laughs> I think that is Arthur and Hugh. Look right there. Look at him. <laughs> Fortunately, the Nala's makeup job is pretty solid. So unless you're going to start pulling his makeup off, <laughs> they're not going to recognize. Which you me. can't reach. I can't reach up to me. <laughs> you're, you're too high. Yeah. What if he sits on my shoulders? Ghost goes and finds the uh, the drinks and the food and begins packing his his cheek pouches even more. There, there's there's no drinks or food unless people brought their own. It's uh, it's really like just a, a group of people that came together, celebrating what's going on. Um. You know, you, there, there's a there's a, a booth where you can sign up to get you know weekly emails on the infosphere. I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna send some just for, just gonna make Go them for all. it. <laughs> Ghost Ghost goes in and he signs the personal com units of everybody on the crew except for Trigger and himself. He signs them all for the spam. <laughs> but Lisi goes back later and signs up Ghost. <laughs> I want you to know, Adam. I seriously consider trying to write a verse. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously considered it. The man they call Anchorance. <laughs> I actually went. I actually went as far as finding. Um. Some string music to play. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I just didn't have the time in me to do it all. So. Uh, all right. So. Well, you know, they 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 had a terrible lot in life and. And they took it. You've given them something. And to that believe. ain't nothing. <laughs> You've given them something to believe in. So the uh, the celebration lasts longer than you would have expected. Over an hour, closer to two. Uh, they break the eventually they celebrating st the formal um, service, if you want to call it that. Stops. People mill around for a while longer. Uh, they're pretty interested. Many of them pretty interested. So some of them are like, ah, I wish I could meet this guy. He sounds really awesome. You know, for a Vesk, this this sounds like the what, you know the kind of person that that will make a difference in the in this kind of world. Oh yeah, he's totally awesome. 
What, have you met him? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what are you doing tonight? Because we're having a party down at the frat house. Oh, cool. I like parties. <laughs> oh, good luck, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Jules is role-playing, Mikey. <laughs> 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 right. That's what I used to tell my parents, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, unless you guys are going to do much more, the the night will end. Do you, you have a uh, Sivian made a call, called in a favor, got you guys a place to stay. It didn't cost anything. Actually, the Starfinder, there's a Starfinder place that so you, you have put up there. So uh, The... the Next day, um, Nala has her invitation if she wishes to follow up with it. Otherwise, you guys can uh, do whatever you want to do. If you want to head back to Absalon or explore Cabrat some more, it's up to you. So I, think... I will go to my appointment. All right. Are you? Is anybody else going with you? Are you inviting anybody? It, it seemed kind of open-ended. I do, but you completely broke up when you explained what was happening. <laughs> I couldn't hear a word. You said somebody came over to me at the party as it was breaking up, and that's all I heard. A male grad student passed you an invitation to meet with Emeritus Professor Reisava, and you recognize that uh, name. That's as... one who said that my grandmother had talked about. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, um, is everybody going with you, or what's your? What are you inviting them? Or are they tagging along? Anybody want to come with me and? I'll go. Professor? Uh, why would I want to do this? Is there, is there some kind of money involved here? Credits? The credits of knowledge. Uh, that's a hard pass. No, thank you. <laughs> well, not my problem. So. All right. Yeah, I'll take the trip, man. All right. Ozzy, you going? I'll stay here. Ozzy, are you going? Sorry, yeah, no. no Ozzy has no... Uh, fine, I'll go. You don't have to. You, 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 you <laughs> I'll can go sit, for the you, plot. <laughs> you, you can sit in... I'll you, go for the plot. You, you can sit in your in the closet that the Starfinders gave you to sleep in and stare at the wall. <laughs> Ghost is apparently like, okay like the, like, like the lone warrior poet that I am. There you go. <laughs> You're a poet? <laughs> and he didn't even know it. <laughs> I mean, it's bad poetry, don't get me wrong. But yes, Ozzy writes poetry. Yeah. I mean, he I also don't... broods very well. He wears a black trench coat when nobody's around. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, we gotta be still here. Um, so, uh, Nala and Ilesi have no trouble finding the place. It's uh, a small dwelling just off campus. The uh, <clears throat> Professor Reseva is there waiting for you. He looks... You know, his eyes still look sharp, uh, but unfortunately he has a walking cane. He has a definite, uh, pretty severe limp now. Oh, please, please, come in. All of you, come in. Have to, I, I'm having tea in the in the garden. Would you like to join me, please? Great. Henry. So. Sure. I like tea. Okay. So he, he settles down in, in, in the, uh, the yeah, garden. Yeah, see, role-playing. <laughs> and uh, he says, he, he looks at Nolly, he says, I, I was a friend of your grandmother, grandmother's when we were in the Starfinders. We worked our way out of several sticky situations together. Unfortunately, that ended with the Scoured Stars incident. Dun, dun, dun. In case you aren't familiar with it, an <laughs> area of space that was previously inaccessible to us because of a massive shield was opened, and First Seeker Janura, who was a, a Kasathan for those who care, took a massive force of Starfinders, nearly 80% of us, to investigate. We found three systems hidden behind the shield. And I actually have a uh, picture of those three systems. So you have, he projects this uh, so that everybody can see it. Cool. And, uh, about a year ago, the new first seeker, Luaza Elsebo, managed to rescue most of us. We've been stranded there for over a year. That's where my leg injury occurred, forcing me to retire. 
Lawanza led a daring expedition and was able to arrest many of us, but not all, as we were scattered across the systems that were under the shield. I was one of the last ones to be rescued, and as we sped for the opening in the shield, which was closing before our very eyes, we received a message from the world I believe your grandmother was stranded on. In all mm. likelihood, she's still alive. Mm. <laughs> so, wow. And he, he, he points out that you're that was the. Uh, let's see if I can make you see it. This planet. You guys see my blue toggle? Uh, not yet. Do you have to use the other key to draw our attention? Oh, I've just taken Where? myself down. Oh, there. I see it. It's it's farther down the map. Yes, yeah, toward yeah. the bottom of the map. Got it. Bottom map. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. So. Oh. So there is belief that your grandmother is still alive now. Is is there anything I can I can I, I this is good news to me to be able to share with a fellow starfinder as yourself. How I, how long did he say he was uh, stuck there for? He was stuck there a year. They, they were stuck there for between a year and, and two. Um, we we asked him, was it like you were stuck there? What, what did you find when you got there? We, did you make contact with the? Uh, uh, there, there, there are eight races that live in those three systems. But there's and, a big predominant one. Yes, yes. They are, they all used to worship the same god who was the one who created this shield. They actually refer to it as the god shield, and that has kept them safe. And when he lowered it, many of them left, but now they returned, and there was. Great deal of warfare. We were scattered throughout the, the three systems as as the shield was raised again and kept up, kept you know kept our heads low. And then once um, they were able to poke a small hole in the shield to rescue us, unfortunately they couldn't get us all. And I believe your grandmother though is still alive on that planet with several other starfinders in hiding. I tell him uh, thank you for giving me hope. It is my pleasure. I hope I hope that it does lead you somewhere. I don't know how to get past the shield. You can talk to Starfinder HQ to see if they have any of this. I was just gonna say, how did you guys get past the shield? But okay. <laughs> uh, Luazi had a, had a had a way to do it, but I believe it was it, you know it was it was a, a one use kind of device that. She somewhere. Some ancient artifact with a great deal of power. A MacGuffin. A MacGuffin. <laughs> a MacGuffin. But you know what? Who's MacGuffin? You guys already have one MacGuffin with a great deal of power. Yep. <laughs> Just need 11 more. <laughs> Plenty of there's always 12. <gasps> Careful. Yeah. Is there anybody else who's now at HQ that was with you at the time of the escape? I, I don't know. Since I've come home and, and retired, I've kind of fallen out of favor and haven't followed up with too many. Uh, I, I can make some contacts and, and, and reach out and get back to you and send you a note later. Oh, there's so Great. Okay. Are you for the tea? Do, do you happen to know uh, Chiskix? Yes, we've met him a few times. Uh, yeah. Oh, so good. They they were lucky enough not to get chosen, and now they've mm. I've, I've heard that they they've become fairly important. Um, they might know something. Oh yeah, it was a good year, man. They didn't go, but they were they were part of the administration. That... Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much. Did you lose me, Jeffrey? You have nothing else to say? Yes, I lost you. They were part of the administration. Yeah, so they they might know how it how how they got in the hole in the shield. I, I don't know for certain, but they might know more than they let on to believe originally. Now that you're an actual Starfinder, they may talk to you a little more. Mm. <clears throat> I use I use the definition. I use Chiskix because that's the third sex for the Sharon race. So it's not yes. they the group. It's they as Chiskix. Chiskix. Is, is there anything else? I, can... I think that's it. Is there anything else you can think of, uh, Adam, to ask? No, Chris? you have your you have your grandmother's antenna. It's good to see them on you. You wear them well. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> I couldn't say eyes or nose. That would have been too easy. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. That is delicious, Andrea. You see, Ginger Thor, he thanks you for the tea. Um, he thanks us for the tea. Well, he thanks for joining him for the tea, for the company. <laughs> so, uh, is there any more of Cab Rat that you guys would like to see or explore? I'm good. All right, you head back to Starfinder HQ, rendezvous with the other guys, and head toward the docking bay? Which docking Not bay? Not 94. Not 94. 49. 42. <laughs> Hey, Captain, how was it? Did everything go well for you? I explained everything that happened, and uh, it was very rewarding for me. Gives me hope. Ghost nods. Yes, it sounds very boring. I'm glad I did not go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um so you pack up your things. Those of you who bought gear on Cabaret, those of you who upgrade, who bought gear, which I know Jules did, you purchase it on your way back to the ship, you trade in what you have, so on and so forth. Um, finally returning to the, um, oh, I forgot the name. Flying Hellfish 3. You uh, are surprised to see the goblins tied up on the ground in front of the ship. And a heavy set man welcomes you back. Um, what are the goblins? Java? <laughs> Dude, we walk around him and mock him, even though he's supposed to be big and scary. The rats recognize him as Fargo Coldotten. Is that Fargo Coldotten? <laughs> oh. Yes. And oh, I actually no. have a picture of him. <laughs> Where's Rubio? If anybody can tell me who he is, I'll be impressed. Wait, is that the original Jabba? Yeah. That is the original is. Jabba. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. You told me you didn't think anybody was going to get that. But I would have got that. Ooh. I would have got that too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he was so proud of himself. He was like, oh yeah, I found this picture for this guy. And I don't think anybody's going to get it because it's a really deep nerd reference. Was it quite okay. that dorky to be kinda, fair, kinda was. We have some really deep nerds here. And <laughs> two, we did just reference this scene. Yeah, if they, had, <laughs> if they hadn't referenced it, I probably would have been okay. Uh, I hope you're right. All right. I do a quick look around to see if I notice anybody else in the area. Uh, hold on a second. I'm trying to. What is Sammy there? No, that's not Sammy. That's the right one. Is it that one? All right. So it's Shift, Bob. Is that the one that centers? I think Shift Control. I, it's one of those two, or maybe it's Alt. It's one of those All three. Right. <laughs> I know it's horrible. All right. Um, you can see I have it on. The, I have the map now up front. If okay. you want to zoom in on the right, mm -hmm. or you have the bottom map. right. Any uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He says, uh, Santa Claus? Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, there's a generational gap here. <laughs> what, what are you talking of? He has a bowl full of jelly. Look at him. His nose is red. It's the end of the trail, boys. Pay up and I'll let you walk away. 1,500 credits and we're even. You only stole 1,000 from him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fargo, Fargo. We did not steal 1500 from you. We stole 1000 from you. Oh, no, no, no. Ghost, 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 ghost. Ghost, we, we didn't steal anything from him. We borrowed it. Oh, right, right. We did not steal. We borrowed from you. Well, then you can return it with interest. Uh, and you can see three best soldiers step out from behind pillars, uh, as does the woman. Uh, the rats actually recognize the woman as a as the Witch Warper Zamir. And uh, all of them grin, hoping for violence, but they're waiting to see what uh, you guys do. Because we looks at Trigger. Roll for initiative. I, I, um, we don't have 1,500 credits on us. How Maybe we I... can trade, trade did you, you something got... instead? Did you spend that stipend already? Is that... We just got a yes. bunch of money. You have a fine ship here. I Can think some... to turn over? I think that uh, some arrangements could certainly be made. 
Sure. What can I do for you? Well, maybe I'll just take it off this nice new weaponry you have. Looks like you have a, a tactical nuclear device. Several of those cover your bill. Wait, do we have the upgrades yet? Or is that back when Epsilon Station? No, nope, that just gets arranged for it while you were here. That's pushing oh. you for three weeks to do it. So that means that we also have the anti-personnel upgrade with the laser rifle that's connected to the hatch of the ship. Correct. It's not much. It's just a laser rifle. It just yeah, it's D eight. It's D one D eight. Yeah, but it fires every round. <laughs> so, assuming you can activate it because you're not on the ship and the goblins are on the ship. Oh, well, you've got the AI. Yeah. We've got. I can't remember the name of our AI. We haven't named our AI yet. I'm connected to it. Hmm. I can I can connect to it. I thought the AI's name was AI. I no. Like, oh, I like it. That's pretty like good. Like computer. <laughs> so, I think. So, I think. Are you going to pay up, or are we going to do this? Am I going to take it out of your skin? I, I'd like to uh, see you take it out of my skin, but I don't have as much skin as fifteen hundred credits worth. Oh, I don't know. Stuffed Yasoki on my wall would be just what I need. Listen, I'm the only thing that's going to get stuffed here is my foot up your ass. Hey, everybody. Come on, let's just calm down. I mean, it's it, it's it's not like, you know, that money's going to kill us if we give it to him. I think we just give it to him and just be on our way. All right, I appreciate I'm you. I'm with the bug. Well, give him the 1,500 credits and we will. I, I do have fourteen hundred on me. <laughs> Perfect. I will give you the other hundred. His problem is with you guys, not the bug man. No, the bug man is right. He has fourteen hundred credits. Use his fourteen hundred. This is why we do not need to steal. Listen, we killed a lot of people for this money. We are not giving our money away. We killed all those cultists in cold blood. I am not giving it to someone else. Uh, it's okay, man. Listen, no, listen. No, no violence, man. Yeah. Their ghost, ghost. Their blood was warm when we killed them. Oh, that is true. That is a good point. Correct, <laughs> I, I, we're, we're not a few of them, Vesk. I don't recall. I think Sivian, Sivian offers uh, his. Wait a minute. I have, I have, a, I have a better idea. What is your idea, Trigger? I mean, don't we have our own Vesk soldier right next to us? Ghost. He is a hero. Yes. Yeah. Don't you? Don't these Vesk know who he is? Are you guys actually going? Oh, to <laughs> Clearly, they don't know. They don't recognize him. Or well, is the makeup on or off? I would assume the makeup came off. It's the next day. It's off. This is Ankalex Hugh, the war hero. Do the right thing. That's what he says. For what it's worth. For for what it's worth, I also broke a contract with these mer which these mercenaries mercenaries do not appear to be uh, fond of. They're mercenaries. How could Wait, they be? Fond of how, how much are they? How much are they getting paid? Do they have to share a room? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How much? Are we going to do this the hard way? I will pay them. I will pay them twice for their for not to kill us. Uh, uh, Ozzy steps forward and says, uh, "Pardon me, sir." Um, any be any quarrel you have with these you Soki with with my friends uh, that they started themselves is between you two. Uh, however, I suggest that you do not uh, do not attempt to claim claim uh, you know get paid back for things that are mine or partially mine, such as this ship and its weaponry. Whatever you want to do with them is fine by me. Just don't get anybody else involved. Go stands behind uh, the big Vesk's leg. And from the other side of it says, "Yes, he was challenging you to a fight. That's right." So, <laughs> Ozzy does a reverse Riker maneuver over Trigger. <laughs> ghost over Ghost. Ghost. Sorry. I am moving you appropriately on the map. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yep. What's it gonna be, boys? Fargo. Run that piece here. Us. Don't okay. make it. calling us boys. Do Nala and I have to participate? I'm not talking to you. Talking to the rats. I'm going to see if I. I'm going to see if I can sense his true motive. If he's willing to attack us, or if he'll leave us alone, perhaps if we do pay him off, or if he's going to do it anyway. Mm. Okay. That's a good point, Chris. 
Roll the uh, 16. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, the, the irony is if I at least your knowledge of this, they, they can detect thought. So they can actually oh, yeah. aid in this card, in this, in this response. He seems completely fine, honest, honest. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a swindler, but, you know, he's a criminal, but he has his code. He just wants his money. money back. All right, I take the uh, 1,400 credits I have and telepathically throw it to his feet. Listen, dude, don't want any trouble. Just want to get out of here. Fix it up. That's all, all I got, man. Ghost fires directly at Fargo Cole Dalton. <laughs> all right, so we're in initiative. Then. <laughs> and we would have walked away. <laughs> That is our money. That is not his money. It's not your money. It's it's Steven's money. It is my money now. <sighs> Dude, man, little man, a little little love you, man, but but you gotta chill on the weapons. <laughs> what a no, I I do not have a cryo rifle. I do not have a chill weapon. One second, I'll shoot you, bro. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Trigger, but he was taking our money. No, it's 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 okay, Ghost. We were gonna fight him anyway. Do we want to focus on him, or should I allow somebody else to move? <laughs> I, 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 guess. I think what we should do is just let the Vesk take care of the other Vesks, and then the rest of us kill Fargo. And this doesn't look like. This doesn't look like my problem. You guys caused this, not me. Uh, yeah, this is not my problem. It's about to become your problem, just FYI. You know, I wanted this adventures to have like the ability to have combat resolve without combat. Bob won't let that happen right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The problem is you you have a psychopath among your midst. That is a uh, a bit of a problem. But if you guys don't want to, this go is what that, happens when you have a, a neutral evil. Or no, he's chaotic evil person in your good party. Chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. Okay, even worse. <laughs> oh. I rolled a sixteen for my initiative. What's your dex bonus, buddy? My dex bonus? Mm -hmm. Uh four. I'm five. Ozzy, are you not rolling? Well, I've gotten there. Just trying to stay out of combat. That was almost a 15. I know. Watching those rolls sometimes is disheartening. Whoa, natural 20. Yeah, he, they won't hit now for the rest of the day. Is that for the goblins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's... So, Chris, now that you've got the character sheet, if you click on your icon and then click on initiative, it'll automatically populate the uh, tracker. It did populate, didn't it? Oh, let's see. 13.03. Oh, it did. Nice. All right. Oh, look at that. I'm suck it. Uh, wait a minute. I have to scroll up. Never mind. <laughs> that was disappointing. <laughs> Alright, so all the vests will advance. Of course they will. Actually, close enough. Did you guys watch anything here? Huh? Did you guys watch anything good? Uh, some Aquafina. Any good? Not terrible. All three of them pull out their Ember Flame. No, I'm sorry. They're Ifrit class flamethrowers. Sure, they oh, do. Crap. Good thing I'm in the back. And unleash uh, the two handed ranged weapon can be fired five times. It targets all creatures in a 15 foot cone. I make it again. Uh, Good thing I'm more than. So. Please tell me I'm not within 15 feet. Oh, yeah, you're you 10. Are. Uh, no, it's just you two. 
<laughs> he, he can target. <laughs> yeah, it's just you two. This guy at the top can target it so it doesn't hit Adam. So, yeah, it's just you two. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> How All right. Hit Adam. He can target it to the right a little bit, is it called? Uh, All right, so uh, Ghost is blue, trigger is purple. So this is a. Hey! Oh, it's only a plus five. Uh, yeah, it's a plus five. Which one? Who's purple? Purple. I don't know. Who's this? All right, so trigger, it is uh, an 11. Uh. Since it's ranged, I'm, uh, I'm guessing it's it's ranged fire. Yeah, I'm gonna call it KAC. Here he is. I think hey, I, fire seems probably, to be EAC. I'm guessing. Unless it's some kind of like a reflex thing, save for half, like a spell would be. If it's an area of effect uh, item. There is no. There is I would no guess it would work half. the same way as a scatter gun, but with fire. Yeah, there is no save for half. So, um, so eleven against it doesn't matter. It's gonna miss whatever Mikey. Has. Yes. It, the other one was an eighteen plus five is twenty three against uh, trigger. No, against ghost. Uh, twenty three is a hit, I think, even with uh, the level up. All right. All right. So that's the first one. That's gonna be for, for what it's worth. Twenty three is my KAC. <laughs> <laughs> that's eight damage, Bob. Eight damage. I'm down to twenty stamina. The next one fire is the same thing. Okay, purple is ghost. Blue is trigger. They are both misses. Oh. And they are both misses. God, that was disappointing. Yeah, I watched the rolls. They were disappointing. Uh, Nala, you are up. Uh Against this. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Josh. Yes. Just a note with the weapons that have blast, like the flamethrower, I'm just looking it up right now. For every subsequent person in the cone, you take a minus two to hit. Um, so just keep that in mind for future rolls. Okay. Would that also apply to the scatter gun? It does apply to the scatter it gun. Does. Anything with a blast. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, so if there's four if there's four like targets in there, like you might hit the first two, but then does each person get a consecutive minus two or is it, you know, n minus one time do you know what I mean? Is it is it applied does everybody get the same negative to hit or is it accumulative? Oh is it, oh that I don't know. I assumed it was a, I assumed it was cumulative, but it says each attack takes a minus two penalty in addition to other other penalties for every additional person. Hmm. That does not seem very clear to me. All right, anyway, now is up. Uh, don't like her. Do you guys agree? We can't understand a word you're saying. I do not like our position right now. Did we hear that or no? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I pull out a smoke grenade and I toss it at the uh, Vescan Orange. Just okay. past the Vescan Orange. Uh, DC 12, it says explode, smoke cloud, one minute, a 20 uh, uh, foot radius. You totally do like the Batman, like, smash smoke on the ground. <laughs> and we better run. So you enter the you enter the um there's a door here just below trigger and Nala. And that's how you enter the, the docking bay. So you can still retreat out there and leave. Is no, our, our, ship is, our ship is there. Yeah. Alright. I can't do this, sir. I wanna do it I want the smoke grenade to explode on the upper left corner of the orange mercenary. Alright, so you need the roll for that. I forget what the role is for that works. Adam, do you remember that? Uh, a little like bit. A, isn't there a 1d8? I rolled a natural 20. I was going to say, I'm hoping that he hits. I think he hit. <clears throat> he really hit. All right, so you made smoke effect. Woohoo! Which is negative something. Hmm. 
And let me see. And then I will I will move. So how big is the smoke effect? Twenty square foot. Oh, it says twenty feet. I don't know what that means. I would say twenty foot radius. So, um, so you you are not in it. Uh, is Ozzy in it? Ozzy is in the smoke. Actually, is Ozzy? Ozzy is right at the outskirts of the smoke. It's right on the end of him. Ghost and Trigger are in the smoke. The Vesk are in the smoke. And that's it. And you move Nala, and that's it? Yep. All right. Uh, Fargo picks up the sack of coins that Sivian um, threw to him. You're welcome. Activates his jump jets, leaps nice. into the air. I don't want it to be special. And run away. On the sheet. And makes his 30 uh, foot jump. And runs away like a little girl that he is. <laughs> you know, I really intended for this encounter to you guys to kill Fargo, but no, he's going to come back now to haunt you. <laughs> <clears throat> It's not gonna haunt me. <laughs> there goes fourteen hundred credits. <laughs> Thanks. That's no. entirely your fault. He didn't pick it up, did he? It was still on the ground oh, yeah. in front of him. Oh no, he <laughs> picked it up. I, I Josh clearly said he picked it up and launched his jump jet. Oh, I missed that. Yep. Okay. And Meeks. Um, so is, is picking something up? What is picking something up? Is that part of a move? Is it a free action? I think picking something up is a standard action. I'll I think it's whatever you want it to be for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody cares. I mean, bad guys get an extra action on their turn anyway, right? You know, when the plot dictates it. I, <laughs> actually, this is easy. Uh, sorry, he, uh, in Starfinder, picking something up is a move action. He already had it. He already had it, though, because he counted it, Josh. That's right. He already had it. That's right. So You're very welcome, everybody. Thank you for making it easier for me, Chris. So he moves to the south here, activates his jump jets, flies over the wall, leaps over the the, the wall to the uh, docking bay, and lands on a trash can on the other side. Lands over here on the other side and is well out of sight at this point. Wait, there's an open ceiling. Yeah, it's open. It's a docking bay. You. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of us see that? <laughs> I think we all had a big cloud of smoke in front of our face. Although we could have hear, heard the jump jets and assumed what happened. Yes. All right. So back. Uh, Ghost is up. He is going are, to delay. You are in the smoke. Yep. He's delaying for a trigger's action. I think right, trigger's up. Trigger, trigger knows what Ghost would like to do. I don't know if Trigger agrees. It's up to Trigger. Ghost would like to kill them. That's what Ghost would like. As he was a free action at this moment just to shout into the mist. It sounds as though your boss has taken payment and left. Perhaps we should all be on our way. Um, so, uh, triggers up, and uh, he is—he's going to. Um, I can move myself, right? So, so this is what Trigger is going to do. As he, so, so the Vesk are large creatures, and Trigger is a small creature. Yeah, uh, Vesk are medium. Medium, but we are still bigger than you guys. Significant. I mean, bigger. mechanically speaking, in the game. Right, right. So, um, Trigger is going to. So, since we've got the uh, smoke kind of obscuring everything, uh, going to tear their shoelaces. Is going to run, not run. He's going to move through uh, the vest through his legs, and as he moves through his legs, he's going to drop a grenade and keep moving. I mean, when I say drop, I mean he's just gonna, you know, place it on the ground without lots of noise. Oh, and before he moves, he tells he tells Ghost, kill them. Wait, uh, Mike, did you get my whispers at all? Did you get any of those? Yes, I can't. But that's but that's where I'm going. 
Okay, because I'm okay. I'm fast enough to get in the ship if you were able to remotely open the hatch. I know that's why I, I can't. I'm not connected to it. So. Oh, you're not connected to it. Oh. No. Okay. How does the hatch? So, how does the ship hatch open? You just hit a button and it opens up. You put a code in. Yeah. Or or no maybe, maybe you know I I will leave it code whether it's imprinted with your your handprint. Um, Can't we just have know, the key we... in our pocket when we go and like grab the door handle? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Mike, you have to make a tumble check to run through his legs. Okay, what is that? Acrobatics, athletics. I believe it is acrobatics. I'm looking at computers. Up. I think that's computers, right? Confirmed. It's it's acrobatics, but that, as a Yosoki, if the enemy you're running you're running past is uh, one size or more greater than you, you get a plus five because you are five. a Yosoki. So acrobatics plus five. Okay. Are you sure it's not the uh, like natural sciences? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even know what he's what he's rolling against. I can't figure out what roll against that is. Oh, uh, it's under acrobatics, I think. Uh, I roll a 30. I'm pretty sure whatever you set the DC. I, say, I think the answer is it doesn't matter, Josh. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I, I, would, I, would, I would impose a negative for the fog, but I don't think I can impose a negative enough to make a 30 not count. I would, I would think that a fog would actually make it easier for him to get by without being attacked. So, Except he can't see the guy's legs. The DC... It doesn't... Ha- I'm sorry, go ahead. Never mind. The DC to move through uh, an opponent's threatened area is 15 plus one and a half times the opponent's CR. If multiple opponents are threatening the same space, you do one check with a DC based on the opponent with the highest CR, and then the DC increases by two for every additional opponent beyond the first. You could also try to run through the opponent's space. That DC is 20 plus one and a half times the opponent's CR. But if you fail trying to run through them, you stop moving immediately next to them, and they get a free attack on you. So you run fast through whatever. Um, you drop your grenade, which is only like a D6 or D8. Uh, it's an incendiary grenade, 1D6 fire plus 1D4 burn. All right. Go ahead. Does it, what's the range on it? Uh, five feet. Okay, so it's only him. Yep. The AC uh, if, is the floor, so it's an AC of five. I think that's your target for grenades. Uh, natural 16. I assume that's going to be a hit. So he rolls uh, six points of fire damage. All right. He is hurt a little bit. A little bit. Uh-huh. Trigger, you're up. Ghost is up, sorry. Uh, Bugman. Bugman, you can move things with your mind, right? Press the button, open the hatch for me. I will get your money back. He can't, he, <laughs> he doesn't know how to open the button. He's never been there. It's a spaceship button. He lives in he lives in the world of Starfinder. Doesn't know how to push a button to open a door. So the, so the button just opens the door. It's not locked. Up. I have the no code idea. is one two three four. Then then because I mean the villain could have got in too. That the door wasn't locked in some manner. He actually got in because he got the go- the goblins out. Yeah. He, did he close the door behind him or did he leave it open? We're assuming the goblins didn't just walk out on their own. That's true too. No, I, I would assume the goblins did not just walk out on. Their own. It, they're goblins. They would have not opened the door without. They're goblins. They're not that stupid. <laughs> they're pretty stupid. They're pretty, yeah, they're pretty stupid. Pretty sure they're smarter than you. They have duct tape. That's not saying much. If you look at the image of the space goblin, he's got duct tape on his space helmet. It's only duct tape that's preventing him from the vacuum of space from dying. That's that's not very smart, I think. <laughs> Dude, I'd love, love to help you, but it's a little too far away, man. I don't think you can see it anyway through the fog. So. And, and I can't see it through the fog, man. I can do it. You can't see it either. I can jump jet it. You could jump jet it. Uh, he'll wait for Elise or a Sivian to open the door, and then he'll come back into the order as soon as one of them opens the door. 
All right, Sivian is up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, project um, voices in the fog around where my last location was and make it sound like there's people all around them. All right. I'll give them a minus two on their attack rolls for that. Nice idea. Okay. Uh, at least you are up. Okay. I use my jump jets. Okay. So what is your what do you what do you what is your whole plan for the for the turn? Um, the jump jets can get you up and you move you thirty feet. Yes, I believe that's how. So far where is that going to drop you? In a very very bad place. <laughs> is it? Can you run and then use your jump jets? No, they're part of the move action. You can, you can, you can do a move and then a move again. Can I jump then move? Or move then jump, I mean? If you, that one? would be two separate actions, but That's yes, two you actions. can do it. You don't have to do anything else. That's fine. I just want to get over there for Ghost. You're going to help Ghost? I'm going to help the party. <laughs> and I don't want to fight them. This isn't my problem. It's theirs. All right, so um, yeah, I mean, you can. I'm gonna move you for a second. You can move one, two, three, um, and then use your jump jets. It's not moving on my screen. Okay, there we go. And then use your jump jets to another thirty feet, which puts you somewhere over here. Okay. I might put you on the wing if you were nice to me. Yeah, but isn't there somebody up there? You want to go on the wing? Sure. My walk is. Th not twenty. You move yeah, but you pretend you. you then yeah, you if you get any closer, he's gonna hit you when you leave. But what if I fly away. first? Then you I mean, land right behind them. Well, that's, yes. Yeah. That's All right. I at least see you jump. I'll let you. I at least see you jump jet on top of the wing. Because that's pretty cool. <laughs> and you superhero land. Yeah. Oh, totally. She <laughs> totally does like the whole like fist in the air, one arm on the waist. Okay. She's totally feeling herself. All right. Not in an inappropriate <laughs> way. Damn it, Jules! <laughs> <laughs> so, for the record, the blue circle on the ship, toward the bottom of the ship, that's the the main airlock. There is an auxiliary airlock. Yeah, that one there. And there's another auxiliary airlock. I think it's uh, right there. Okay. I have a very serious question about our ship, though. Why does sure. it have wings? Listen, listen. <laughs> it's you know how hard it was for me to find one that had that, that didn't. That had a, a transparent background. I took what I could get. <laughs> That's a good answer. I'll accept that. I think it's it, it's got to be able to maneuver in Atmo. So maybe I think the wings fold back for 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 space flight. It's a transformer. I like it more than meets the eye. All right, Ozzy, also, you are up. It also turns into a boombox. <laughs> <laughs> I at that one. That one was awesome. Um, uh, Ozzy. We don't want to fight. He ran. Yeah, Ozzy's gonna delay. Says, "All right, back away. You're between me and my ship." All right. So, um, are you you're delaying? Yeah, delaying, and he's just talking again as a free action. All right. Yep. Uh, I don't. Uh, nobody besides I, Elise can see the Witch Walker at the top oh, of the screen. Um, and she. Uh, it's far she skedaddles away that you can't keep track of her anymore. Not good. She was because you reckon you recognize her. She just be thank you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, all right. The, the, the turn order is over. Those of who are delayed are have to act or lose your turn. So Ghost acts. He races to the ship and opens the door. What the heck? Ozzy will lose his turn. Actually, no. Ozzy will do total defense. All right, so um, so you can, you have to run in a straight line, which doesn't. Work. Uh, he's got a movement of forty, so he will use two move actions. Okay, then that works. Um, you gotta, did did you level up to not get your attacks of opportunity when you? Are I'm sorry, you broke up. Could you say again? Did you level? Did you when your level up? You said something about not getting attacks of opportunity. Oh yeah, uh, that is uh, if he uses uncanny, he has to do a, like a trick shot to do that. But are they going to go for attacks of opportunity? Then in that case, he'll just run around. No, no, nobody has actually attacked them yet, other than Mikey, mm -hmm. and they did attack 
first, so I think they'll let you go through. He's. We're gonna risk it. He's gonna run through straight to the. It's also still pretty smoky, so they. I mean, like. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Move, Bob. Okay. And he's running. They're not running. Moving. Double moving. He gets to there. Any attacks? No. Okay. And then he gets to the ship. And as a swift action, can he press the button to open the ship? You can open the airlock, sure. Okay. You have, a, you have additional move left. So, yeah. I would, okay. I would treat that the same as, you know, unsheathing. You know, you're, 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 you're saying to put the code and open the doors. Okay. That's the end of his turn. All right. Uh, back to the top of the order. The uh, mercenaries retreat out of the fog. Bye bye. Um, and take one more shot, at least. What? Actually, they're going to go into this room, close a door. <laughs> door closes. <laughs> now it's up. Heroic Vesk. Hey, they are mercenaries. <laughs> I think she'll rush forward towards the ship, too. All right, go ahead and move yourself. Uh, how do I... What's the difference between when I can see how far I go versus how I, how far I don't see how far I can go, if that makes sense? No. You want to know how to use the arrows to measure? Yeah. Uh, on the bar on the left, you have the arrow at the top. And then about uh, fourth one down, it looks like a, it's a circle with a with a snap the center. There you go. You just click on that, and then you can just drag where you want to go. Just remember, when you want to move, you got to click on the arrow again. Otherwise, you still can't move your guy. He'll be stuck on the on the ruler. So I can get out of the ship if I do a double move. Yes, you can. Hey, is anybody gonna get us? Help! Yeah, where are they? They're 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 right outside the ship. Rescue the goblins later. We can get him. We can get in the ship. And we can get the guy, and we can get his money back. And we can blast him with our coil guns. I, I rush over the to the goblins. Where, where am I close to the goblins, Joshy? The, the goblins are right outside the ship door. So yeah, you can just help them. They're they're tied right, up. Right there. They're right where you are, right there. Give or take a little bit. So you can help them. I'll run and then help him. Can I do that? Because yep. it's a straight line? Yep. So you're, you're freeing them. They're untied. All right. The uh, villain has escaped further. Ghost, it is your turn. Uh, actually, because he delayed, he's now number seven. So he's at the bottom. That is true. Oh, you changes in order, I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We should probably, I was going to say, we should probably change our... Uh, yeah. All right, uh, so Trigger, you're up. Oh, you're on mute, Mike. Trigger, I guess, is just going to... Trigger, if, if you can get into the ship, we can chase after him and shoot him from the sky. The ship does take several minutes to warm up. Well, he still can't get farther than the ship can fly. True, but he can go underground or disappear into a crowd. We can activate we scanners. Plan. We've got our new medium scanners. We scan there's a lot of people around. We could just start shooting. <laughs> we scan for a human who's got jump jets. And we shoot Ayalisi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's Lashuta. Oh, that's right. You said human. My apologies. All right, I'm just gonna... I, I don't think your scanners are that detailed. I'm going to move into the ship and try to get it started. All right. Fire it up. Yep. Or actually, once I get in the door, I can connect to the computer. Fire it up without even being on the bridge. Yeah. Uh, is there a range on your exocortex for that? That's why I need to be on the ship. Okay. Because I, me I meant to ask from... I was curious. I didn't mean to ask. It's yeah, like I when Han's running up the ramp and he says, Chewie, start her up. That's his exocortex. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder <laughs> if I need, a, I need a couple. I need another level before I can connect to. It. Hey. I was going to say, do we have to buy something, or you'll be able to connect remotely when you hit level five? We're gonna. We're gonna I'm gonna build something. Nice. 
that'll be really handy. All right, so uh, triggers on. He's firing up the drives. Um, Sivian. All right, Sivian's going to go ahead and, and move to just. Yep. Let's see. Uh, go right about there. Oh, that doesn't work. Hold on. I mean, at this point, you, everybody may as well double moves. And I'm going to just use a perception check to see if the door is shut to make sure that it's shut and everything looks good. Do I need to make a roll for that for you? No, no. You, I mean, you guys, I don't know why we're still running through combat at this point. There you go. Um, I, I, already opened, I, already opened the door. I already opened the door, guys. It, it works. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you guys, you're all aboard the ship. The, um, whoa, whoa hang on. I at least see. Fire and burn the uh, door that the mercenaries went in so they can't get out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look, is, that what the, uh, is she hitting uh, the button for fire, or did she accidentally hit the new tactical nuclear missile button? Which which of those two <laughs> buttons did she press? I, so. so You can't hit a human-sized target, but you can hit something about the size of like a human's hand. One <laughs> They're not much bigger than two meters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. about so you guys make it in the ship. Um, I just want to was... say, the smoke grenade, uh, each character who inhales the smoke must succeed at a fortitude saving through each round. DC equals 15 plus one per previous check or spend a round choking and coughing and can do For nothing sure? else. Whoa. Andy. Yeah, so, you know, when you got stuff, read up on it because that could have been useful to know. Josh, Seriously. Just out of curiosity, Fortitude is my worst save. I would have rolled a 17. What was the DC? Uh, 15 plus 1 per previous check. I don't understand what that means. If you were but, in it for two rounds, then it's every round you're still in it, that's an extra plus 1 makes it harder to survive. Okay. But an act of environmental protection from a suit of armor protect, pre prevents this effect altogether. So you could have, if you saw it coming, you could have activated your, you know, put your face shield down or run through. Because activating a suit of armor is a standard action. Okay. So not run, but you could have moved through. Yeah. That's so. really handy. Do we have any more smoke grenades? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Uh, but regardless of the armor, smoke obscures vision, granting concealment to anyone within it. Oh, so it would have been really hard to uh, attack either way. I forget what concealment means, but it doesn't like, matter. Minus four. My, my point was just that, you know, know your stuff. Yep. Uh, Mikey, you get on board, and you're as you're trying to power it up, you notice that they have actually fully shut down the core, which means it's going to take much longer to bring the ship back online. They may have done damage to the systems. You don't know how long they were there. Oh, we need to do a full systems check. We don't want to blow up yeah. in the air. So I'll uh, I'll connect into the system, the, the ship's computer, and I'll start running diagnostics. All right. Uh, everybody else boards. Um, science officer, you can run some checks if you want. Sure. Um, guys, we, we, we can help, too. Are you okay? Oh, as I get onto the ship, I grab them. I don't untie them. I just grab them tied up and bring them onto the ship. <laughs> Flarnock and Felros. We, we can be of help, really. How did no, they get I'm in the ship? How did they get in the ship to get you? Because because we were here and the guys came to do the upgrades. And, 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 and did you see all the cool stuff outside? You got all yeah. kinds of new guns and shields and stuff. And, and we let them come in because we thought that was okay. Because they were doing cool stuff. And these guys just came in afterwards and we thought they were the worst guys. And it turns out we weren't right. Did you ask them? Yeah. Did you? What did they say? I don't believe you. They said they said they were here to help. What did you ask them? Are you here to help? <sighs> and, 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 and we need to work on teaching you how to ask better questions. I am reconsidering leaving these two on the ship, Captain. I think they are a liability. In their defense, none of your upgrades would have gotten done without them being there. <laughs> I guess that means that they should be with us at all times. <laughs> I think they learned a very important lesson. Today. <laughs> Are you kidding? They're going to forget about this in like two hours. 
<laughs> Forget about what? <laughs> <laughs> Captain, I respectfully suggest we simply kill them now. It would be no! easier. What does the captain say? No, no, no. Uh, Let's fix the ship and get out of here. Uh, that is a good point. We get into out of atmosphere, into uh, zero gravity, and then we just put them out the airlock. Much easier. Yes, yes. No. I don't see your angle. What are you going for here? How would you want to kill them, Captain? They will help us. They have not helped us yet. You see the duct tape on their face shields? They're going to last forever. <laughs> They're unkillable. Like I said, they would. They, your your ship would not be upgraded at all right now because they could have, not have access. Uh, let us them. let us t- take a vote. Who all in favor of killing the goblins? Raise your pistol. We got two. I see two. Any others? Bugman, you lost all your money because of the goblins. <laughs> Actually, he lost all the money because of you. Dude, yeah, uh, dude. Um, little mouse, really like you and all, but you gotta relax in this whole "I want to kill everybody" thing. It is simple. What? If they just did what I want, nobody would be dead. But no one does what I want, and therefore I must kill them. You're lucky. I like your little whiskers, man. What is the matter with my whiskers? They are rather You're- cute, aren't they? They, they are not cute. They are deadly. What are you talking about? Look, when you talk, they listen. wiggle back and forth, Anything. man. And Lisa he goes up man. and she starts playing she with them. Stop it! Get your hands away from me! Get away! <laughs> ah! No! Stop touching me! you charge that for by the kitchen table, I think? Look at that! See, I touched them and I'm not dead yet. So they're obviously not that deadly. You'd better stop it. This is fun. I like them. All right, Jules, give me your um, computers or engineering check to see if you find anything wrong with the system. They're uh, both nine. Okay, so nineteen. Ghost will nineteen. Assist. Okay. Ghost will assist. You know, well, Mike, Mikey's gonna do the actual most. I'm giving Jules an option to get bonuses here. Very hey, cool. So. All right, so you got a 13, Bob, a 28? Uh, just a plus two. I'm just assisting. Maybe I'll assist Bob. <laughs> well, Mike, Mikey's running the, the diagnostic. Um, you're able to uh, ascertain that you don't, you don't detect anything wrong with the, the core systems. Mikey's checking the engine core right now, so you, you don't so you blow up. <laughs> Mikey, you want to give me your engineering check? Wait, you brought, what was that last thing? You want to give me your computers or engineering check to make uh Yes. <laughs> Baby, baby. Uh, Twenty-five for my engineering check. All right, you're you're pretty satisfied that they didn't uh, tinker with the ship at all. They they just shut it down so that you couldn't get away easily. Okay. Um, are you guys taking off? Uh, yeah. Once everything is, uh, yes, yeah, so I'd like to take off. All right. You uh. <laughs> Take off a uh, pilot. Give me a D6. I think it's D6. Uh, 1D6 for inter pack worlds travel. So, Mikey, give me a D6 roll. D6 is A4. So, it takes four days um, to get from uh, Castrovel back to Absalon Station. We're going on a trip in our upgraded spaceship right through the space. Uh, during, during that time, you guys obviously... Little wise guys. guys. <laughs> to rest, uh, you forge, you you manufacture... What's the ter- word for working leather? Craft. Uh, yeah, I guess you craft working? your... Cure. Your two jackets. Um, uh, Ghost, Ghost jacket. disappears for about a day and a half. And he is in the hollow suite. And when he comes out, he looks much calmer. <laughs> he just killed more things in the hollow suite for pretend. Um, He's Worf. He's a wannabe uh, Worf. Guys, what's wrong with Ghost? He's calm. <laughs> oh, hello, Elise. How are you? Whatever. Well, yeah, there's definitely something wrong. He never says hi to me or ask. 
That he was that was good craftsmanship you did on the eel skin there. That was a good jacket. I like how, I like how you made the collar so you could flip the collar up or put it down if you wanted to be cool or not cool. That was a nice touch. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Who got the other? Who got them? I, Alicia, and who? Uh, Captain Nala. Okay. Yeah. So we'll Nala, shunt the gals. Nala got the, the members only funny little thing that goes across the neck. <laughs> From the Perfect. 80s. <laughs> That's the 2480s, though, not the 1980s. Yes. <laughs> What's old is new again. Yes. All right. So you're, you, nothing exciting happens on your trip back to Absalon Station. Hmm. No, no attacks by strange undead spaceships this time? That's I don't understand. Doing. Not, not the... uh, Captain, before we arrive, I think we should test the weapons systems. Do you have a cost to replenish the missiles that you're about to spend? I researched this. So, at least for the tactical nuclear missile, and I think the other missiles too, uh, you the system recreates them. I don't know if it's like leveraging energy from the drive to take matter and antimatter and create nuclear fusion and it just recovers after 10 minutes. But the the rule book says, at least for the tactical nukes, uh, when you're out of combat for 10 minutes, you can restore the five missiles that there's no cost involved for them. <laughs> okay, so it's not really limited to projectile because how many times does combat last more than five rounds? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on what sort of di diabolical things you come up with. So, all right. Oh, but um, also, Josh, it is a missile, and it only goes at like twelve squares per round or something. So, bad guys can use flak to blow it up. If they have a gun that has the point uh, property, they can shoot it out of the sky, or they can outmaneuver it. So, there's ways that you can uh, deal with those those missiles as well. Sure. All right. If you want to go spend some, burn some uh, some stuff, you might guess. I am going to press. Is it the red button? Is it the red button? Uh, Trigger, do you know how to fire the tactical nuclear missile? There is a good asteroid right there. It is the. It is uh, not the red button. You need to be uh, in the turret. Oh, okay. Uh, going into the turret. Sorry, big lizard yeah, guy. Firing, control, firing controls are in the turret. Targeting, target lock, and firing controls are in the turret. <laughs> Okay, and I am aiming, and I am firing. Actually, I just want to clarify on that. It's a natural would one. The turret, <laughs> would the turret controls only be for the turret? Wouldn't you do the, the other stuff from the bridge? You mean the firing of it? The firing of the missiles and such, I would assume you would do the bridge. You would only fire the turret from being within the turret. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, no, because then if then only one person could shoot everything. I thought that's how that worked. I thought one person could shoot everything from the like the bridge. Am I mistaken about that? No. That's, that's one thing I don't understand, and I needed to read, read up, and I didn't get a chance today. Was if you have one person running weapon systems, and you have three weapons, how does that work? Hmm. I envisioned it like the Millennial Falcon, like where they had to go into those gunner positions. Right, so you think they can only shoot one? Yes, I think they can only shoot one. You need to have... We have three guns, you need three gunners. Right, or, so... I, or maybe you can control one of, like, the fo the, the forward gun. That could be controlled from the bridge. But, my, my but there's a piloting trick that you can fire multiple guns at once. Right. That, not, does I, that just mean you run really fast? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, maybe it runs differently than I envisioned. I thought I read that you don't you can fire all the weapons, but only the manned ones get the bonus of the gunner, and the other ones don't get any bonus when you fire. Them. I've never seen that before. Do you remember? I don't know. Saw? I might just be making that up because I want it to be that way. I, I don't know, Josh. I, I assume that we had gunners in these positions, except for the possibility of the forward gun being able to be fired from the pilot, you know, on the bridge. So I'm looking it up. Uh, according to page 324 of the core rulebook, 
Um, though each of the starship's weapons can be fired only once per round, multiple gunners can take actions to fire different weapons in a single round. Uh, and then there's also a starship can have at most one gunner per weapon mount. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, wait, where is what? What that mean? Yeah, 320, you said, Bob? 324. 324. All right, you guys make it to Absalon Station. Ghost fires his, 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 his test rounds. I rolled a natural one, by the way, so I missed the asteroid with the tactical nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What? <laughs> o- only Bob can roll a one on a test. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I don't know what happens when you roll a one with a tactical nuke. That's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> It blows up in the barrel. <laughs> yeah, that's really. Wait a minute, that pretty much means on the ship, doesn't it? Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start with new characters. Starting next <laughs> week, we can start rolling now. <laughs> All right. Uh, you arrive back at the Epson station. Um, you have a, a message from Chistix that they wish you to visit as soon as you can. Um, you have whatever else you want to do. Those of you who want to buy, buy that if you didn't have it already. Those of you who wanted your augmentations can do that. Uh, I think Jules, I think you said you wanted to get Dark Vision. Yeah. So Eilis, he's going under, under the knife to see in the dark. She must be afraid of it, the dark. Um, what's everybody else up to? Or are you just going right to Chisk? Plan? Does anybody plan on giving any money to Stiviard? I, no. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Maybe the Yusoki should, but I'm not gonna. Not my fault. He's Siv- an idiot. I give Sivion uh, 500 uh, credits. Oh, man. Dude, you didn't have to do that. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't realize he was going to be dumb to give away his money. So I give him. Uh, I have a, a random cred stick that has 150 credits on. So I was. Oh, thinking... I knew my little Yusoki brothers were so, totally cool too. <laughs> That's why I love being in a team. It's all about teamwork. Mutter. Go, yeah. steals, that, go steals that cred stick back as soon as Sivian is a bit. Ghost. Hey, hey, hey bug, into... bug, bug, bug guy. Next time, d- don't give your money away until we're not in a position to do anything else. Whenever anybody points a gun at you, you do not give them your money. You point your gun at them, and then you shoot them first. This is the rule. Do you got that, bug guy? Well, we'll see, man. Not a big violence guy myself. Mm. Here. Here is 76... 78 credits I just happened to find in the couch. Uh, Back on (laughs) Castrovel. Use this money and buy yourself a gun. (laughs) <laughs> so you have, right. you have 78 credits from Ghost you can be any uh, not oh, my fault all those credits I didn't even put that in my budget <laughs> uh, Josh Ghost goes down to uh, the CD part of Absalon Station the sort of shady piece and walks through into the doors of Diamond's uh, shop yep hello how are you Oh, my friend, it is good to see you. Diamond, let me tell you, the glands that you put in my throat, like two weeks ago, I was attacked by six robots in the bad guy. One breath knocked them all out. It was amazing. I think God himself was very pissed off at this. It, thank you so much. It was great. <laughs> nice. Are you on Yelp for me then? Yes. Yes, of course I will. Yes, absolutely. I have more business for you. What would you like? I would like if you could uh, modify my reflexes and my synapses to enhance them so I am faster and quicker with superhuman reflexes. Well, you already have superhuman reflexes. Super Yusoki reflexes. (laughs) Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, What's what's the going rate on that, Bob? Uh, 1,400 personal upgrade mark one. I, I think it's adrenal glands. That's what they label it as. Speeding okay. your ability to react. All right. So they give you your... She, 
you know, arranges for your operation. They put the adrenal gland of a frog in you. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they, they give you your upgrade and you're good to go. Suddenly, uh, he's able to leap into the air and land on three fingers, kind of like, uh, what was the Alien 4 or Alien 3? Uh, what's the, not Winona Ryder, but, uh, from, oh my gosh, she was an Avatar, she was in Ghostbusters, she was an Alien. Sigourney Weaver. Thank you, the Alien version of Sigourney Weaver. Oh, that was three. Thanks. Yeah. Although that was the and that was the one was with uh, Winona Ryder, I believe, as well. Uh, yes. Horrible, horrible movie. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I think Chris and I saw no, that. In that theater. was four. That was Alien Resurrection with Winona Ryder. Alien Three was on the prison planet. Uh, but anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I at least he gets her eyes done. She can dark vision now. Yes. How much was that? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred as well. Um. You you, you walk in. Does everybody go? Oh, yeah, uh, Ozzy's definitely yeah. going. Oh, no, 17. Uh, that money? Do you have a dark... uh, yeah, it's actually dark vision. There you go. It's still... mm. Yeah, I always pick dark vision, and it never does anything. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you get it. Uh, I use my dark vision. <laughs> Wait, uh, I think, uh, was pressuring me. I think everybody's got dark vision. Nala has a uh, upgrade, doesn't she, to um, infrared vision, uh, an, an armor upgrade for it now? Captain Nala? Um, I don't know. I think, I think you did. You, you spent the money, the 300 or whatever, the 200, to get infravision armor upgrade. For my, my you sleeping? No, for my uh, second skin. Yeah, you put an armor upgrade on it. Infrared vision. I thought they didn't have. Uh, yep, second second skin has slot. one one slot. <laughs> and then it was only Nala who couldn't see in the dark. But now I think everybody in the party can see in the dark. Can Sivian? Uh, no. Son of a. I have I have blind sense. Oh, that's good. You can see in the dark with the blind sense. So we no longer need light. Sort of. If we I battle... Can sense okay. Dark right. things. <laughs> so we never need to turn light on now. So if we ever fight a bad guy who needs light, we're, uh, we've got the advantage. We can save so much energy in our ship, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to hear this constant, like, high-pitched clicking type noise from Civil. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my little chittering. And we're gonna hear the goblins walking into literally every. Hey, lizard, <laughs> lizard man, are you going to pay for the full upgrade to your dragon glands? Let me tell you, it's totally worth it. Uh, no, man, totally unmodified. No, that is Except lizard. For... You are bug man. I'm talking to lizard man. But uh, uh dude, okay. No. <laughs> no. Man of many words. <laughs> Why are you not doing that? It is a waste. What you're doing? You tickle your enemies? Ah, let me tickle you. Yeah. I am the mighty uh, Tyrannosaurus the, Hugh. The, the surgery didn't go right the first time. I don't expect, you know, I, I'm not going to attempt that fate again. I am, however, going to get the uh, the augmentation where I have injectors put into my back so that I can shoot venom into my system and become stronger. Oh, so you're Bane. Yes, thank you, exactly. That's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> but you, that is a very nice idea, but you realize that after you do this, you will not be allowed to enter the 2516 Olympics. You know that, right? They, they do not allow enhancements. It's, it's all won by Vesk anyway. It doesn't matter. That is true. <laughs> All right, so Ozzy gets his. Uh, you're will, you're willing to give uh, give uh, diamonds people another try? Yes, I, th I have a I have a feeling it'll work properly this time. As long as they're not working on my throat, I guess something about lizard throats. But you know, every you know, ma making Vesk stronger, I think they have a lot of familiarity with that. If you pay the full price, you will get the full treatment. That is the problem you had last I, time. I think I th think you may be right, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's showing us a natural one on the die. Adam. I'm always teasing you. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> is your strength now 20, Adam? Is that right? My strength is now a 20. Oh, that's brilliant. What is the pl is that plus 5 damage? Plus 5. Well, actually the damage is now plus 11. Oh. <laughs> Because it also adds, I got something from my level three. I forget what it was, and also the um, uh, weapon something or other. Words, yes, thank you. So it just—it's a plus one damage every time you level. Oh, unless it's supposed to be half my strength bonus. I don't remember. I may get another plus one. All right, is you, are you getting Adam, anything else? Adam? Adam, are you getting anything else? No, that's all I'm getting. All right. Sivian, are you looking to purchase anything? No, sir. Sivian has like a, what, 120 credits? No, no. 700. Yeah, 750 something. Oh, I thought you only got uh, like 70 from each of them. Oh, nope. and. Nope. Yes. Nala, gave me, Nala gave me 500. I forgot Nala gave you 500. That's right. 100, 150 and then 78. All right, so uh, do you know what you're getting? I'm not getting anything. Okay, okay. Um, Jules left the room, but I think she was all set because she already bought her arm at Cabaret, uh, uh, Castrovel. Uh, Mikey, sure you're getting anything? Yes, he would like to get a personal upgrade. Of? Model MK1, level 3, 1400 credit. Gives me a plus 2 ability, Synaptic Accelerations. These implants supercharge the synaptic connections in your brain, allowing you to process information faster body more effectively synaptic accelerators grant you additional ability points this counts as a personal upgrade of the appropriate model number it takes an hour to install uh once the character has benefited from its technology it is forever spent so what does it give you so it gives me a plus two uh to um in this case uh speed Dex speed is not an ability you mean dexterity I'm sorry, yes, yeah, sorry, dexterity. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was very confused for a second there. <laughs> there you A3. All right. Um, you know, Diamond is appreciative of your business. Thank you, thank you. Please come back. Pass the word again. It is always good to see you. Thank you very much. And the hologram disguises are working very well, too. We've only been attacked like four times it uh, only three bad guys have recognized us out of the blue it is really effective thank you for that you know you you might want to talk to your giant friend there. i see his face all over now on on uh on, on flyers and stuff yes he's very popular now no yeah like a religion or something i agree i i am surprised he has not capitalized on this and monetized it yet are you guys talking to me? I know you're talking about me. My headset cut out. We're, we're uh, your choice. We're, we're, we are talking about you. Okay. Well, I just didn't know if you were waiting for me to respond. Okay, it's up to you if you respond. Di Diamond was basically saying that uh, you might yes. want to consider you getting your own personal disguise kind of thing. Because I you're... don't. I don't think that will be necessary. Because your picture's all over the place now. All over the place. Diamond, can you change my hollow disguise so I look like him? And then we can give him a hollow disguise and he can look like me? No, the reason I gave you that is because it's broken. It only has the one. Oh. I can't change it at all. Oh, that is too bad. Okay. Although my business is up 12% since you commented on my usefulness at the uh, when you were on the Drift Rocks. So thank you. It is the truth. You give good quality items. Got to look out for the Yosoki. Yes. All, All right. right. Uh... Now we're going to the Cold Fusion Queen. I mean, the Fusion right. Queen. We're going to pick up our cut and see how business is going there. All right. And who, who are you talking to there? Uh, who's the guy who's the leader of the level 21s? Uh, Ab Abatica? Uh, Kabaticus? <laughs> Kabaticus? Is that, a, is that the role? Legion? Arctos Tone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I'm just torturing you a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe, was that Jarboxa? 
Jarboxa. That sounds familiar. Another Yasoki. Jaboxa. Jaboxa. These are these good people. So you you arrive at the Fusion Queen to find. Um, it's pretty happening. I'm, I assume it's what time are you going? I should say. Start with that part. Oh, the height of the night, of course, like 11 30, 12 o'clock ship, ship time. Okay, so ship time. so Nala and Ilisi and I. Yep. <laughs> All right, you go. It's um, it's pretty happening. It's it's a you know, it's like a Thursday, so it's later in the week, but it's not the, the weekend yet. It's still pretty busy. Um. Yeah, we run a pretty awesome. Day. You know. I could show you the picture of the Fusion Queen if you wanted to, but I think you don't need that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Load it back up. Is Jabaxa working? Is he managing in the back? Can we see him? You'd have to ask. Fusion Queen Restore. That. Close that. There. There's your fusion queen. Oh, it's like walking through memory lane. Look, they never even cleaned up the bodies. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, they need new, new paint, new lights, um, better sound system. So they've reinvested a little bit to make it a little nicer. They've cleaned up the block a little bit. So, uh, your box is, isn't there, but if you ask the, the, are you asking the bartender if he's there? Yes. He's not here, but I can get him for you. We, we he usually comes around in a half hour anyway. Oh, that is good. And uh, we should like a drink then. Thank you. That'll be uh, a credit, please. He, he doesn't know who you are. He, he pays a credit. Thank you. Wait, what? No tip? Go No, go separated from money? It is coming back to me. I am investing in my own business. <laughs> all right, so Jaboxa makes, a, makes an appearance later on in the evening. Are you all there? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, might as well be. Yep. Hey, do you remember the first time we were here? We were sitting in the booth. We were talking about how to get through that door. Remember that? It seems like years ago. It was, it was literally like three weeks ago. Actually, about two weeks ago. Which, for us in game time, we actually know that is pretty good. We're not usually good with that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a pretty memorable spot. It's a pretty cool map. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, so... Box. Oh, it's good to see you. How was your adventures? Well, Adventure space aliens tried to kill us. Then uh, we found a rock. People tried to shoot us from the sky. And then we found a space ghost. And uh, yeah, they tried to kill us as well. And then we went to a jungle where many things tried to uh, kill us. And then we found a temple where, yes, more things tried to kill us. And then we came back here. Uh, you are not going to try to kill us, are you? No, I'll give you a job here if you want. Nobody tries to. Hmm. Didn't Funny, we try to kill there. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it sounds too boring. Dear Boxer, how is business? Business is good. Excellent. Then it is time we collect our cut of the business. What was your percentage? Like 70? 75? No, it wasn't that much. <laughs> oh, I tried. I thought it was 50-50. I thought it was like 30. Regardless, he ponies up. Uh, I think you already told us it was like 1,500. I don't know if I gave you any money for that yet. But okay, 1,500. Actually, in two weeks. So you, I don't know. 1,500 each? No. We are, you already gave us this money, Bob, right? He did, and you guys already have it. I, took, uh, I think Josh sent it. Okay, that's what I thought. So it's already been divvied up. As part of the money that you had. Are you adding Sivia to the ownership lease? To the deal? Are you altering the deal? I wouldn't assume mm. sir. I am feeling generous. But if you give your money to people with guns again, then they are not going to have to kill you. I will kill you. Uh, who's generous? So he gets his cut, which is uh, 1500 divided by... Six. Yep. So. One. Chris, you get 250. We already got that, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's like magic yeah. magic money that we gave at the start of the session. <laughs> All right. So business continues to go well. 
Um, singer comes out. How is then, your How is your conflict with the? Uh, it was a hmm. hard, hard Scrabble Collective. What was the? Um, the Downside Kings. Yes, the Downside Kings. The Downside Kings are no more. Congratulations! Well done. That is excellent. You did. You did half the work for me. The rest of once once their leader was gone, uh, they came coming to me for work. So I'm more than happy to give them a job. Very impressive. And what about uh, astral uh, projections? Astral ejections? Yeah, I got nothing to do with that. Oh, the okay. love game. They have not gone bankrupt. They are still an evil empire. Is that true? Correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, look at the time. Got to go. Thank you, Jabaxa. Very good. We'll see you in two weeks for more payment. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> All right. Are you finally going to meet with Chiskix? Let's go. Sounds good. All right. Fizzgig? No, it's Chex Mix. If you're going to mock the name, Old Fizzywig? Chiskisk? Chiskisk. Chiskisk is a, uh, as much like you, Chris, a. He's a bug. Yeah. He's a Sheeran. Oh, nice. uh, let me see if I have it. So, that was. It. Yo, come and on. no, we're not related. <laughs> you sure? There's Chiskisk. Chiskix in the top left there? Yep. Oh, untru Uncle Chiskix. <laughs> Sh <laughs> shoot! We uh, pronounce it. <laughs> I, I, I will try to keep the voice if I will probably lose it halfway through. My friends, it is good to see you. Hi, Chiskix. How are you? Well, welcome back. During your trip, I had several conversations with Dr. Starney. The Drift Rock, as you know, or may not know, the Drift Rock turned out to be a small piece of a much larger device known as the Stellar Degenerator. It was created ages ago by two ancient warring species and has the ability to drain all energy from a star, turning it into a black dwarf and killing all life in a solar system. No. As you already know, the cult of the Devourer is aware of this device and pulling out all of the stops to locate it. Your success on Castrobel has dealt them a major setback. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't believe they are the only group looking for it. My <sighs> sources tell me the Corpse Fleet is also investing. Can I go pee pee? Do okay. Dr. Solastani has learned a great deal from the materials you found on Eucalyptus. First, the odd shaped crystal you found. The ruins is one of 12 power cores needed to power the Stellar Degenerator. She believes the Stellar Degenerator is hidden away in a demiplane. I'll be right back, guys. Dog's got to be. Yep. Yeah. And is only accessible from the Gate of 12 Suns. We already have our top researchers looking for it. In the meantime, we must stop any other group or faction from locating any of the power cores or the Stellar Degenerator itself. Because of the information Trigger shared with us, downloaded to his exocortex from the drift rock we believe we have an advantage we have a way to locate each power core that's awfully convenient the power cores give off a very unusual very distinct radiation signature it is challenging to locate but we believe we have found another one located on an asteroid in a section of the diaspora that's the asteroid field known as the field of the lost the coordinates have already been transferred to your ship Thank you, Chiskix. Will you help us? Will you continue to help us? I have no problem with helping this. Uh, wait a minute. Let's not be hasty here, ILEC. Have you learned nothing? Things are very... Oh, yeah. Ghost is going to ask you how much money we're going to get. Things are expensive. We have costs. And our friend, the Bugman over here, just gave all of his money to people with guns. So... And I just upgraded your vessel at no cost to yourselves. Yes, but yes, thank you, thank you very much for doing that. That is very kind of you. Very yeah, kind. I, of you. Not all of us have parents with a trust fund like you do. I am drawing on the funds of the Starfinder. 
So is there a is there a reward for saving the universe from preventing people from getting killed in a horrible manner? What is that worth? Uh, Four thousand credits? Five thousand credits? When you do that, you can talk about it. I, I am talking about it right now. Let us talk about it, Cheese Kiss Commander Admiral Commodore Poop Deck Master E Commander. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I do not understand what you want. I I guess I am not being clear. I am sorry, Master Commander Tiskisk. Uh how much will we be paid for this job? It is your your Starfinders. This is this is what you signed up for. I have rent to pay. I have bills I need to pay. Uh it is difficult. I have to put food on the plate. Ghost we yeah. don't pay rent. She is correct. We provide you serving. So we provide you food and board, as well as I am aware of your side act. I know you you collect a substantial sum from the the Fusion Queen, from your reward as a research grant from the University at Cabrac, as well as the treasures which we do allow you to keep for any contribution from yourselves, while we still finance your expedition. So, saving the world in the universes, in all the worlds, it does not have a, a cost that you can pay for. I see now. That is very, very disappointing. I have to check my calendar. I am not sure. Trigger, do we have the time to go to the diaspora, to the field of the lost? What are we doing on Saturday? I thought we had a uh, knitting club, no? I, I think we are busy. Don't we it's have... Ghost, ghost, it's not knitting, it's crochet. To crochet, see, I am still learning. I'm sorry, Master Commander Cheesekisk. I don't think we can, what, maybe Tuesday, two Tuesdays from now, are we free then? Can we save the universe then? And what is the <laughs> calendar like? What does your exocortex cortex AI say, Trigger? I think it's it's the third Tuesday from next Saturday. Ah, uh, we are free then, yes? We do not have bingo that night. No. Okay, so we can do it in three weeks. No problem. You you, you take your time. Okay. The rest the rest of the of the crew is welcome to go sooner. You and are, don't expect any more upgrades for your ship. You are all invited to bingo, three weeks from Tuesday. Oh, why wouldn't you play bingo? I guess we should save the universe in less than three weeks. Uh, ghost, you need to remember now we have bag that holds all the extra equipment? Thinking of all the equipment we could have taken with us and sold. Oh. Next expedition, we should be uh, much more lucrative for us. That is an interesting point, Captain. If I kill more people, that is more stuff that we can keep and sell. Ah, but then we only sell it for 10% of the original value. It is barely worth it. Hmm. But it is true. We can get more stuff that way. Okay. Oh, ten percent of a lot is still pretty good. That is true. All right. Okay. I mean, huh. trigger. Yeah. We are going to have to cancel bingo. I think. Okay, I'll send the email again about the crochet club and the bingo. It is too bad. I was we working on, a, on the ship. I was working on Not a nice quilt. Yeah, we are busy. We are busy. You know, people on the ship do things. I at least see they. And think we're doing stuff. We actually do stuff. <laughs> it's true. I have seen him do stuff. It is true. Like you just talk to things, random things on the ship. <laughs> it that is don't actually do anything. That is true. I saw her talk to a door for three hours on the during yeah. the drift travel. Right. And then and then she talks goes what are those little goblins? And she talks Yes, constantly talking to them. It is not worth the time. I agree. They will be dead by next week, probably. They they have duct tape on their helmet. I know. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we're in. Excellent. Enjoy the upgrades to your vessel. Uh, do you Thank want you to... Get suits. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, is there anything else you want to do while you're on the stage? 
Hey, what is going on with the uh, ambassador dead guy of Eox, the uh, Eox ambassador? Had you hear more from him? Uh, Gavilar Snor has been particularly quiet as of late. Well, uh, he is dead. That is true. It's very observant of you, young, you, young lady. Did you ever find out what was in that box of his? Wait a minute. That never stopped you from talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> I had no interest in, in the box you recovered for him. Did you claim to have recovered for him? That was miraculously removed from the footage that was being back, so... I have had no ability to corroborate that. Okay. He's sneaking that one with his green glowing eyes. Freaky. Yes, I do, not, freaky. I do not like him. I feel we will see him again in another 10 levels. I'm not sure, but something like that. You are welcome to try to reach out to him and contact him yourselves while you are here. Why would I want to talk to that creepy guy? Ugh. You are asking me about him, so I am telling you, you can't reach out to him. Okay, thank you, Master Commander Tiskisk. Very well. Best of luck. Let us know what you'll find. We will continue to search for other locations of the crystal. Oh, wait. Okay. Do you know anything about the Fallen Starfield? What, Fallen Field? Uh, star, what is the name of the place we are going? Scoured, scoured scars. Scoured, scoured stars? No, that was that was <laughs> scoured pots and pans. The, the, the field of the lost. Oh, the land of the lost. Okay, yes, I like that place. Dinosaurs. No, this is where we, that's where we just came. There's not land under the asteroid. It's a field of stars. It's an asteroid. It's an what? asteroid. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Surely you have information, uh, star surveys. A breakdown of the biology and ecology of the uh, asteroid in question. Maps that you can provide. Blueprints. Um, mm. What information can you share with us for this vitally important mission that will save the world? We, we can give you the approximate location of the asteroid on which the power source, in which the power, uh, the, the radiation is coming from. The diaspora is, is, is only partially or this area falls mostly under the free capital and has not been officially chronicled by any group outside of them. Uh, do we know what the free captains are? Does that need a culture check or anything? Go ahead. Maybe somebody with a good culture check can roll that. I have a good culture. I rolled the one. It doesn't matter what my my culture's good. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did you end up? You rolled a one, but what did it come to? Uh, uh. It's gotta be good. He's still adding it in his head. We got a 12 from Sivian. I got a 31. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. I rolled a natural 20. That's a great roll. Oh, guys, look, I got the whole page in the. <laughs> oh, I'm captains? Three captains. Oh, good. I've read this like twice again already, so I'll read it again. <laughs> Skim it fast. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the field of the lost is a bleak area. Uh, very large, irregular chunks of ice and occasional ominous, ominous fields of green and blue floating through an empty void. And pirates. With a vast field of stars for a backdrop. As I stated previously, it is controlled by the free captains and they are not very forthcoming with sharing information with regards to it. It is where they, we believe that they have a hideout within the diaspora. Are they on good terms with the Starfinder Society? Do you have a connection? Are they a, an affiliation or a sub-affiliate of us? Unfo unfortunately not. We are not enemies, but we, are, we rarely work together either. We have very little interaction. Do you have a what? reference that we can provide if we meet them so they will not kill us? No, they, 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 you remember, you, you must remember that most of our experience is outside of the packed world. The free captains are pure, almost entirely within the packed world, so we have very little interaction. I see, because you are too busy finding stars. I, yes. I understand. Okay. 
Do you have any other angels? Okay, so um, the free captains, their presence in the di- diaspora has been diaspora. 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 Diaspora has been growing lately, um, and it looks like a pirate kingdom is emerging. Um, so you know that's not great, but the pirate council meets on the bro- broken rock. But it's a secret, and it's that's the hideout. Yeah, that's the hideout. It's a secret, and it's very well defended. Um, let's see. You can pay them for protection. Um, you can pay the pirates for protection, and they stick to their deals. Very like, if you make a deal with them, it they have to honor it. Uh, the um, a Creon, I believe, was captained by a free captain. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm I'm vaguely remembering that. weren't weren't they the ones who gathered by the the big space station? No, who were they? I don't remember, but it's not them. No, the free the free captains are, are just uh, ghost. Uh, remembers as a homeless child uh, meeting and being raised for the first three years of his life by a priest of Besmar and Besmar is the patron deity of pirates and the, the priest was responsible for much of the way Ghost is today and I suspect that that priest may have been part of the pre-captains back in the day all right All right, Jules, remind us that a pirate are. <laughs> All right. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> what is a pirate? The pirate. Say? The pirate. The oh, pirate, pirate says, says. Okay, I thought you were talking about a pirate. Pirate's favorite letter. <laughs> <laughs> what's the What's the pirate's favorite letter? Is it R? <laughs> no. Everybody knows that a pirate's true love is the C. Ah, oh, of course. And that reminds me, did you hear the one about the pirate who walks into the bar? And as he walks into the bar, everyone can see that there is the wheel of a sailing ship that is stuck in his trousers. And he sits down very uncomfortably and he orders a drink. And the bartender says to him, uh, excuse me, but are you aware that you have a, a wheel of a, of a sailing ship connected into that's like It's in your trousers. It's in your pants. And the pirate replies, Ah, I do. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, we've digressed. <laughs> All right. Um, you load up on your any supplies you want to bring with you. You fully charge all your weapons, even though you have one d six days of of uh, space travel ahead of you. And you depart Absalon Station for the diaspora. <laughs> Uh, who wants to roll the 1d6 this time? We're going back into the drift. And by the way, like we're treating you don't this... Go, no, no, you're in the system. There's no drift right oh, now. Oh, we're not drift. Okay. One. Oh, by the way, I took like um, four of the uh, pistols that I had extra lying around. Um, this way Josh can't say that I'm carrying too many weapons. And I have strategically stashed them uh, in locations by the entrances and exits so that... If we get boarded, we've got guns around the... And I tell Ghost where they are and no one else. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I tell everybody where, where they're... You tell where the goblins. Except for the goblins. Uh, Ghost has a third azimuth pistol, so he'll contribute to the hidden location fund, and he'll hide one of his three as well. So that puts us at five hidden azimuth pistols. That was good. Excuse me. All right. Um, oh, and so oh, actually, one Good. last thing. He's going to hide his old second skin armor somewhere in the ship as well. Might as well. His what? His second skin. His second skin. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, older armor. So, did you roll a one, Jeff, for us? I did. I finally, one of my ones helped out. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost disappears. Ty says goodnight. <laughs> oh, goodnight, Ty. 
Good night, Ty. Ghost disappears Good for half a day back in the hollow suite. You know, I was I was wondering about the, D, the 1D6 roll, and as I think about it, it really gets to do with locations of planets within the system and, and their orbits and how they inter how they if they're close or far apart. So it actually works for me on some weird level. <laughs> and traveling the drift is like potentially super dangerous. You never know what you're going to get when you go in there, right? That's like you're taking the people go into the drift and sometimes they never come back. Yes, the drift will be you'll get your time there, don't you? Well, even our ship, right? It it went into the drift and wasn't seen for 100 years. And then we were for the ones who years. found it. 70 years. 70 years, 70. So every time we go to the drift, there's a chance we may never come back again. We need to be right. mindful of that. All right. So you guys head out, you make it to the diaspora, you head toward the location that Chiskix had given you. Um, it's been steady, slow piloting for the past. Find the tire roll. Should we be picturing an asteroid belt? Yes. Okay. Uh, four hours worth of time goes by. Um, been a little strain on um, our good friend Mikey there, and um, the AI comes on. Uh, Captain, I detected what maybe weapons fire further ahead. Does anybody want to run a better scan than that? I will. A science officer, sort of. What am I rolling? A D20. I rolled a natural nine. A natural nine, and you add in your computers. Eighteen. Okay. Um, you detect that there is a space battle going on. Oh. Oh, this is the one we were talking about. Yes. That oh, was and uh, Jules, just to keep in mind, yeah. because we have basic medium range sensors, uh, we get a plus two on sensor scans up to medium range uh, okay. on that roll. Just keep that in mind. All right, so um, I at least she says that she detects a space battle going on up ahead. Uh, it is, of course, where you're headed to. I'm going to I'm gonna make space tracks, and we're going to go around it. It's actually where you, of course, Mike, come on, it's where you're headed to. It's exactly where we're going. Are you kidding? Of course it is. Like, can't we just orbit and, like, land on the other side or something? So you guys are the top. Did you get the hexes to line up? No, I, I removed that one. I, I removed the hex overlay. I don't know. Um, oh boy. So you guys are at the top of the screen. You can see I've placed several or several um, asteroids in the middle of the screen. Mm. And per your um, scanner, you can detect three ships uh, orbiting the asteroid you think you want to land on. Wait, so now we're on the deck of a ship. So, like, Alisi, you should be reporting into the captain. Like, captain, I've detected three. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> yes. Captain! I've detected three. Can I detect it? Or do I just know there's fighting? You know that there's three vessels in style. Um, one is of another, but you, you're, you're <laughs> not accurate enough to tell the difference. You can't tell what it is yeah. specifically. Captain. Hey, Lisi, scan the vessels. See, see what kind of vessels they are. <laughs> there are two vessels of the same type and one slightly different um but the scanners don't tell us which ones what like what they are we're too far away and they're fighting does it look like uh the two are winning does it look like the one's winning the two are winning the two are winning oh no the <laughs> Trigger, take us in uh, uh, as stealthily as possible. Maybe using one of the asteroids as a uh, uh, cover pick for us there. Captain, I've got a great idea. I'm going to bring it <laughs> cover. Nice. I Captain. can't lose the ship, though. It's frozen in this grid. <laughs> oh, I can fix that. Oh. <laughs> I think I fixed that. Captain, um, we're trapped in a force field in this grid. Oh, come on. Uh, controlled by all players. 
Try it now, Mikey. Awesome. You moving it? Yep. Cool. Captain, I believe I go. Captain, there's a distress beacon. That's Do you wish for me to put it on the speakers? You broke yes. up, John. That... There's a distress beacon coming from. There's a message. There's a broadcast communication coming from one of the vessels. Do you okay. wish for me to put it on the speakers? Play, play message. This is Captain Alara Aquana of the Rusty Rivet. We are under attack by the corpse. We need assistance. Once again, this is Captain Alara Aquana of the Rusty Rivet. Uh, this is a message to all ships in the vicinity. You are required by national by by universal law to help to help us defend against the corpse fleet. Please offer assistance as possible. Uh, Captain, I recognize the corpse fleet. Those are the guys who attacked us twice. Do you remember? That was quick. Take us in. Shields up. Weapons hot. Shields are up. Shields are now up, Captain. <laughs> Target. Right. Uh, corpse fleet. Vessels. All right. So if you scroll to the bottom of that, you can the vessels on the left. And the rusty rivet is that yet more yellow vessel. Captain, there's vessels around. <laughs> there's no nuclear vessels. Ah, There's yeah. no nuclear vessels. But we have the ability to make one of these vessels nuclear. <laughs> All right. Um, so can you you can target from what well, from where with the how does that work, Bob? With your miss. Okay. So uh, the let me just look up the tactical. I, the tactical nuclear has a range of twenty, but I think the speed is only twelve. Uh, let me just look it up. Yes, you're gonna have to get closer. So, uh, it has a range of twenty, but a speed of ten. Excuse me. So you run it when you fire. It's a gunnery check against TL, not AC. So if Adam is our gunner, then he rolls. If he hits the TL, then it travels in as straight a line as possible towards the target. It'll go 10 squares, and then that's the end of the turn. Next turn, uh, Adam rolls again uh, another gunnery check. He can still fire other stuff, but that's just a free roll. And if he hits the TL again, then it continues to track towards the, the enemy ship. And uh, if it touches the space of the enemy ship, it explodes. Okay. If the ship moves out of the way, uh, the missile's not done, uh, Adam will roll again on his turn and he can redirect it and it'll change. It has perfect maneuverability so it can instantly change direction and continue after the ship. Okay. All right, so the rusty rivet is the gold ship. The two on the left are the corpse fleet. If you zoom in, you can see them. Um, they are occupied with each other, so your action. I guess uh, that would be a piloting action first. Captain action. <laughs> oh. I thought the no, I thought Captain the pilot pilots first. So I think. And then it goes. Oh yeah. wait! Hey! 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 Wait! Go to the handout section. There's nothing there. I checked already. But Bob put a link. But no, now there is. They showed a players. Hey! Whoa! Starship combat. That's just crazy. There is a the, the link that I put in chat. I think if you open in a separate tab, is a really nice cheat sheet that complements what Josh just shared with us. Yours is probably easier. Um, I just grabbed everything that was. I just grabbed something that gave every role. Like really follow everything else. I think that 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 gives us the details that we're going to need for the fight for sure. So. But Josh, I think you're suggesting we get a surprise round, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving you a surprise round. Right. Yeah, until you fire on somebody, I don't think. So the way the way the phases go is engineering, which is captain engineer, helm phase, captain pilot, science officer, and then third is gunnery phase. All right. So do we do the engineering captain phase by? Uh, you tell me to fly the fly the ship. 
it, it's <laughs> your choice. I, you two decide uh, between the engineer and the captain, uh, or the, they decide uh, who who of the two of them wants to go first. So the captain can do demand. He can open up hailing frequencies and do all of his captain actions, or the engineer can divert engine things to shields or, or whatever. A science um, when the, when when the science officer can go at any time too, right? To scan and get more detail. Uh, science officer can act before or after the pilot in the helm phase. So it's in phase two. It's after the engineering phase. Yeah. Okay. Captain, so what is your com what is your command, Captain? Orders. That's you as the engineer. Yes, but I am also ghost. I just I cannot shoot them with a pistol right now. <laughs> Ghost, uh, scan those uh, all three vessels. I am afraid if... your science officer can do that in the next round. I am engineer. I am not. I am not science officer. Are you got shields up and you got weapons loaded? I can divert power to make us faster. I can divert power to weapons or shields if you would like right now. I gotta see. I gotta see what we're up against before we do that. Do you do you have any um, experience with those vessels besides the ones the times that we ran into it? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna divert power to uh, to say weapons, and the off chance that you choose to fire on somebody. Shut up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. No, I don't want to mess it. All right, you diverted power to weapons. Uh, as long as I made a good roll. I just tried to roll, but it looks like nothing happened. Too cold. Oh, there it is. Uh, twenty-two uh, against. I think they're. I think they're getting beat up every night. They're. They're. You know, there's a lot more games in bed. So. so uh, I assume twenty-two is, is it? I'm sure twenty-two is a save. It's, it's acceptable. Yeah, I think it's DC fifteen plus one half times, uh, the ship's tier. There's CR two. There's CR two. So. Okay, so 17. So we beat a 17. So now if we choose to use our weapons this round, any ones in the damage become twos. All right. Captain, you can open hailing frequency to the ship that is under attack if you wanted to, or you move to, to phase two. <coughs> the uh, axioms. You broke up. Do I talk to the? Do you what? Should I hail the Eoxians? Uh, do you want? I don't know. Is it worth captain. it? Uh, as the captain, you could choose to hail during any phase as well. So you could wait, get the scan in, and then try to hail. Do you think it's worth it? I'll ha I'll hail the Eoxians and uh, tell them to stand down. As going? we are coming to the aid of the rusty Does buckets. That the Does rusty that we Does that give away our sneak? That is that is that is giving up any surprise you had. All right, we'll what? just go in hot then. Yes, that is this. That's the attitude, Captain. I like it. Yes. If we if we already weren't backstabbed twice by the uh, corpse fleet, it'd be different. <laughs> yes, you tell yourself whatever you want, but we are blowing them up, yes? I mean, they are already dead, right? <laughs> Mostly dead, Adam. They are That's called true. the Corpse Fleet. Jeff, look, I waited till 10.30 to have my little bit of scotch. Nice. You didn't right. start at noon today? <laughs> no, because I had to stay up for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to, Mikey. You're gonna have, or Mob of Mikey. We're gonna have to count squares on this because I took the hex grid off because I couldn't make it line up with the grid that was on the paper. There's actually a trick because every hex is about five feet. So if you count the feet divided by uh, five, that'll get you an approximate number of hexes. But agree, we can count them. And I got about a count of fourteen hexes. I found seventy feet slash fourteen hexes from there to the closest deoxyan. Can you mark the two ships that are the same? The two on the left. I was going to say, it's the two that look the same. So yeah. Can... Which one is... Can you put colors on them? Oh, yes. I can do that, Jules. Thank you. 
Uh, Captain, the tactical nuclear missile is within range. <laughs> <laughs> well, that stepped things up a lot, but that doesn't necessarily destroy. Like, what's the damage on that? Uh, five d eight. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. I think I'll fire the gyro laser. <laughs> No, maybe I should jettison escape pods. That's that that that's fun. that's gunnery, right? We'll shoot our escape pods at them like a mini Haldo maneuver. Mm -hmm. All right, are you moving the ship? Yeah, I think we should move the ship first. What is your flight? Yeah, we, what, what you fly, what's your distance in one turn? Ten. Ten. And we can only turn one per movement, like per square move. Yeah. Yeah. We have to turn as we move forward. Yes. Like right, it, co so then, it costs a move to to turn one shift, right? I think that's basically what our maneuverability. Well, it's is. A, you can you can for every well for every one hex forward we can we can turn one. That's I believe that's what the maneuverability. Yes, I believe that's yeah, how yeah. it works. Got it. Damn. I have no idea what drift one means. I'll look it up. All right, so we should. Uh... We should uh, engage and move up 10 and then uh, get ready to fire at blue. Yep. You mean down to the left 10? Right. <laughs> so, you want to move the ship, Bob? Uh, sure. I'm thinking like they're facing... Yeah. Uh, Mikey's, well, the actually, Mikey's the pilot, though. Mikey should move it. He's he's our pilot. So no. Eight, eight would be to here. Does everybody see my arrow? Yeah. Yep. 42.3 feet. Yep. That's not bad. I think that's good, and then we can fire straight down. On yep. Uh, the only other thing is you still have the science officer to act after pilot, so you could scan it, see which one's more damaged, and target the more damaged one in the gunnery phase after. I don't think you can scan them both and get that, that level of information. Well, even one to know how damaged it is. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I think I'd let you scan both. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we're in, we're in phase two, so the science officer can act before I fly it, so. so, so. Go ahead, Jules. All right, then I'll scan. Um. I'm going to scan both of them. Okay, to figure out which one is more damaged. Go ahead. D20. Uh, 11 natural 16. Nice. Um, plus your life sciences. And you get a plus two for you get a plus computers. Two. It'd be computers or engineering. Yeah, which one are you better at? In the podcast, I'm better at life science. In the podcast I'm listening to at level nine, the Plus twenty five to computer's check. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. You were able to determine I don't care what the D <laughs> uh, You were able to determine that um, the blue one is substantially damaged and the green one is moderately damaged. So the blue one is definitely in worse shape. Um, they are both taking a like, the rest the rusty rivet is given a lot. I mean it's, it's taken a beating. But it's 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 doling it out too. So, in fact, your scans uh, show that there might have been a um, Yoxia craft there. And it went by. It was taken care of. That's your route. Okay, so I'm done. You've done your scan. Yeah, that's it, right? That's For my turn. Yep. Yeah. Well, who's gonna move the ship, guys? Yep, I'm just trying to see if I can get the ship into a line to fire on the green one, but I can't. But blue one is more damaged. <laughs> I know, I'm just... Thinking ahead? Thinking ahead, yeah, trying to figure out where to move to... I'm just planning my moves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, as the pilot, I need to know where I'm going after I fire on that one, right? Sure. Have you so, moved yet, though? Yeah. I, I, I still see you back behind the asteroid. Have you... No, I, I haven't moved yet. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so shall one, we? Should we move in fire? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, so you're eight squares away from that guy, so your torpedo will, your missile will. Yeah. My ship is kind of on an angle in the picture, so I can't change that just now. You can change the angle. Is that better? Fire on the blue guy, because now we're at the right angle to fire at. Oh, that's lovely. All right. Who's, who's, who's gunnery? Ozzie. That would be me. The soldier, man. All right. Ozzie, and the I, bug and the goblins. You're only 26 feet away. <laughs> Actually, with you guys have fire a whole barrage of weapons, realistically. Tactical nuclear missile. Um, just, hey, guys, I mean, you, you can fire your tactical nuke. You should. Somebody could be in the jar in the um, in the turret, right? Because that faces two directions too, many yeah, directions. So you can have two shots. The turret, the turret is where the nuclear missile is. Well, I guess that'd be Sivian, who's the only one who hasn't acted yet. Although Jules is not about to act any anytime soon. She looks like she's doing her Jeff impression. No offense, but how about we have our experienced gunnery soldier fire the tactical nuke? Maybe Sivian can fire some of the supplemental weapons. Yeah, we, could fire, we, could, we could fire the forward guns from the bridge. So We have the goblins, too, if we need them somewhere, gun-wise. They're not half bad at it. Oh. That's a good point. Yeah. Perhaps we will let them leave for a little bit. I'm going to fire ahead. the uh, the tactical nuke, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to take one of the plus ones that we get. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Oh, Captain, you could use your skill right now to encourage him to give him an extra bonus. To uh, see. Like you can encourage or demand that he does well. Demand it. I demand that you shoot this well. Uh, I'm going to instead uh, encourage him. <laughs> That'll only so give him a plus can... two. Yep. Okay. So I'm at piloting plus two? Uh, he's got to roll a diplomacy. Oh, he's still doing that. Okay, DC sorry. A fifteen. Natural fifteen. So yeah, I got that. Oh, nice. Here we go. So you're at plus firing. Three. Uh, oh, Put four. That is definitely gonna hit. Did you get the plus oh, that... three on that too? No, I only got plus two on that. Uh, plus two from the captain. Plus one for the oh, okay. computer. So Twenty-five. And that targets the AC or TL. TL. Yeah, well, the TL of 15 doesn't stand up well to 30. Oh! oh. The 24, sorry. 25, because I thought I messed up. Nice. So, does it hit now? It does travel far enough, so it should do its damage, right? It travels in a straight line up to 10 hexes. If it meets the enemy ship along those 10 hexes, then it explodes on impact. That's correct. It hits. It clearly makes a 10 axis, so go oh, ahead right. and roll your so it's uh, 5d8 damage. 5d8. Yep. And yep. by the way, because I uh, boosted the weapons, any one gets converted to a two. I should not have done 5d8 with... Uh... Okay, there, there's no two, there's no one. So 24 damage. <laughs> oh, I can't see the fourth one. The, I can't uh, either, but I, you can see the rolls um, in the chat window. That it's takes out the first ship. All systems go offline and begins to drift. Do you want to describe that explosion there? That's got to be so satisfying. Uh, don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I am blind. Ah, ah! Why did nobody warn me? Ah! I can't see where I'm flying this ship now. Ozzy, <laughs> lizard man. That was awesome. <laughs> Are you happy now, Bob? <laughs> yes, I am very happy. <laughs> We've just irradiated the entire Rusty Bolt uh, ship as well. So. No, they, they have their shields up. They're fine. Uh, yeah. Actually, it does it does penetrate shields, but it only impacts the person hit. It doesn't stretch yeah, that many cool. hexes. Okay. All right. Um... Do you want to open hailing frequencies? Do you want to open the hailing frequencies now, Captain? Uh, Eoxy, other Eoxian ships, stand down. Uh, surrender, prepare to be boarded. Prepare to be boarded. 
I don't want to board it. Wait a or we will fire again. We have to go Hold on the on. ship now? Oh, Captain, we should have discussed this. I'm not sure that I... <laughs> look, at uh, my, they're, they're... look at my hair. I am not ready for this. I'm not even dressed. They're going to gonna fly away. Don't worry. They're going to retreat. I'm still wearing sweatpants. Come on now. <laughs> Jeez. Are you working from home again, Bob? <laughs> it, it's, it's COVID time. We're all wearing sweatpants right now if we're wearing any pants at all. This is why Adam does not have a camera. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, the, uh, the the green vessel turns tail and begins to run. Bye-bye. Engage. Do not let them leave. Come on. Tractor beam. Did we get one of those? We did not no. have enough money. Uh, it cost 1,400 gold, but somebody got rid of their credits, and now we cannot buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Does their ship seem faster than ours? Uh, yeah, it was 12 last time, so... Oh, is it the same ship? The same make? It has a speed of 12. Oh, it is faster than us. It's a small, light freighter. It is a... Farm Tech Car Carn Carver. Carn Carver. C A I D A I R N Carver. Mm. Uh, Jules, do you know what a? Do you know what a? Is it a Karen or Carn? Do you know what that is? I think it's Karen. No. Karen, I, I know what it is. You should tell her. Should Somebody know. hasn't read enough fantasy. <laughs> it's a pile. It's a pile of rocks. Like what is there? It's a directional. It's a directional aid, made out of rock. Or it could also be the top of a um, a grave. Or it could be the top of a grave. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, we get another uh, um, communication coming in. This is the Captain Alara Aquana from the Rusty Rivet. Thank you for the assist. Um, she's looking at your trying to look up your your um, transponder beacon to get your name. Um, and I've forgotten it again. Dang it. Flying Hellfish 3. Thank you, Flying Hellfish. Uh, sorry, we are three. Flying Hellfish 3. I hope you... Said three. Oh, okay. You, you cut out on us. You cut out on oh. us. <laughs> I, Lisa, did you get the warp signature of the, the oxygen <laughs> ship on the way out? <laughs> she says no. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. The, um... I was um drift signature should be sorry. Mm. There you go. That's a good one. That yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, what are, what are what are you doing in the space? Um, flying hellfish three. Official Starfinder business. That's Captain, tell him, tell him, tell him. We're just out for a Sunday cruise. Official Starfinder business. We should oh, not. Do, God, do Captain. not, Captain. Uh, can you put it on mute? We should not tell them that we are. Uh, from that society. There are pirates uh, here. I think they would know that once they saw our ship and they How saw that we're the that? Hellfire or the Flying Hellfish. Uh, sorry, dudes. I put like a flat top that said like Starfinder awesome people. Sorry. Bugman, why did you do that? Uh, I thought it was cool, man. But I had a flag with the skull and the crossbones. It was really nice. That's so generic. As, as a uh, captain of the captain but the free captains assigned to patrol this area. I will um, vouch for you for free passage through the diaspora for the next. So if any captain um, attempts to intercept you, please tell them that you assisted me, and I will, I will, I will make sure that they. Are you recording that video so we can play it back for other people? Because they will not believe me. The computer oh, believe Nala, and that's all that matters. The computer caught the The computer recorded the message. Oh, that is good. Can PlayStation I, record. Can I ask why you're in this vicinity? Please, I, I, am, I am offering to assist. You have assisted us. I have knowledge of this area. Is there anything uh, I can provide kind, for you? It's kind of a fact-finding mission. They send us out periodically around, you know, um, they hear scuttlebutt about things, and they want us to go check things out, make sure uh, everything's a okay. Is is there we're anything called, you're we're called the Starfinders? Maybe we're just out looking. God sakes! Don't you people know how to lie? <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you to be a captain? We heard there might be a star in this area. 
<laughs> what captain school did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> captain, perhaps you could ask them about the land of the lost. You're in that area, Bob. The asteroid that we are looking for. Perhaps they oh. can tell you where that is. Oh, the, um... The coordinates? The broken whatever? Yes. In the chat. But you, you are... You're in the field of the lost. That's a big giant space area. You're specifically looking, looking for... for... No, broken rock was where their headquarters is. You don't want to say that. Going. You're looking for asteroid K9204. That is what Chiskis provided you. Oh. Like, I didn't give you the name earlier, sorry. No, you didn't. Put it on mute. Guys, we go with uh, this guy. What? Captain, I think you are on mute. You need to turn off <clears throat> mute in the conversation with the other captain. You are on mute, sir. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yes, if unless they are... Get the information, man. Unless we, they are going to give us money. I think that we should tell him that we are looking her. for... It's a female. Oh, it's... I think that we should tell her that we are looking for K9204. We're, we're looking for K9204. We tell him we're looking for K9204. There are some weird readings that they want us to check out. It's, it's very interesting you asked that, because that is where these two ships came, these three ships came from. Oh, cool. The uh, I disabled I, I I destroyed one. You destroyed the other, and the other one. But there is there was a years years ago there was an old Eoxian research base there, mm -hmm. that we dislodged at some point, and now recently they've come back. Um, recently, meaning I just found them there yesterday. Hmm. Captain, um, maybe he has the blueprints in the map of the location in his data banks. Anything you have that about the uh, asteroid would be useful to us. Not, not much. There's, there's a, there's. Can, um, get around on it. Okay. There is a massive cavern complex which we never mapped fully. Uh, there is a, uh, a weird, um, particle in the air that prevents light, and sight from from getting more than say ten feet. It's, it's the most disturbing features. It's almost like a fog. Once you get under into the cavern, it, we, we've tried everything to see through it: regular vision, light, dark vision, infravision. Nothing allows sight more than ten feet. It's like a particle in the air blocking your sight. Mm. That was useful information. I wish everybody could give us useful information like that. <laughs> mm. Well, sometimes if you don't kill them, they're more likely to give you. A <laughs> nah. I want to give everybody for that line. <laughs> really. No, no like that's not true. That is not true. We've lost information in the past because you got too angry too quickly and decided, you know what, I'm bored, I'm gonna kill him. Ah, uh, but Alisi, you know what you have not lost because of, because of me? What? Your life. Ha <laughs> ha! You are still alive because of me. Uh, I asked I'm the captain, still alive uh, because of me. I killed Tahoman. That is true. Do you need any help? Uh, uh, I assume she would want their ship to bring back and use scour for parts and stuff. We're 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 fine on our own. We uh, we don't need to. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And she gives you the precise directions on where to land, where the asteroid is, where to land on it. Um, All that helpful information stuff. Yes. So. Should we scan the wreckage, Captain? Maybe there is some salvage here. I think we're gonna give that to the pirates. Oh, okay. So she was helpful to us. So I don't want to take her her bounty away. Uh, can we scan her ship? It would be good to know the capabilities of the ship. I would assume we we scanned it as we were coming in, no? Can you give us? No. The, can we scan the other two? You scan the other two. I mean. Looking at it as you fly by, it's it's similar to yours. It's a tier four medium explorer, much like your own. So, um, Captain, I have a suggestion. They are weak. We can kill them and take their things. I'll take that under advisement. Okay, I hope that you do because it seems like we are flying away from them now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, we attack them, and then bigger, bigger ships show up. That's not, the problem. Not if we kill them quickly with one nuclear tactical missile. You say n- n- uh, never mind. <laughs> I was trying to say nuclear, nuclear with a W in it. It wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's proceed right. on to K nine two zero four. All right, we lay in the course for that. Um, somebody give me another D four roll. I'll do it. Uh, Jules will do it. Three. Three long, tedious hours later. Um, you scan. You find the landing location. And inscribed into the ground are the words, To be continued. Well, that is a crazy coincidence. Look at that. <laughs> that is something. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder if that's the name of a ship or something. Maybe. Maybe that's what we should have named our ship to be continued. If this is K nine two oh four, maybe two B is dash continued is the name of another asteroid. Oh, uh, we should go on to Let's go back the other three hours and find uh Aquifer there, whatever her name is. <laughs> Aquafina. <laughs> All right, well, good session, guys. Nobody died, and we got to fire a tactical nuclear missile. That was great. Actually, I mean, we didn't fight much today. You didn't have that much action today, but you you, you closed up the hole. You got your reward. You got some information on Ozzy's back. Ozzy's story continues through. You got some information for for Nala. You got the plot point for the whole for the the main plot line, the the twelve power cores and. You have your next destination. You have an opponent there ten- tentatively with the corpse fleet, and you had a very rough introduction to the rusty rivet, which was really a side thing to give you more information. So, and you have a recurring villain, and you gave me a recurring villain that I thought I was trying to end your plot point there with the casino owner. But since Chris was kind enough to pay him off, he may not come back. I don't know. You know, like fourteen hundred out of fifteen hundred, he only. Else is really kind of makes that I don't need to bring it back unless I want him. Unless well, he wants his two dollars. You you actually have uh, not uh, accounted for another possibility that Ghost and Trigger go hunt him down and kill him and reclaim the fourteen hundred and never give it back to Sivian. <laughs> <laughs> so um, for the record, next and probably the week after, I think it's going to take two weeks. Will be. I'm looking for more of a horror base, so a little less joking around, a little seriousness, lights out, dark and creepy, hence the no light. I'm actually going to spend the money and get the um, dynamic lighting for Roll20 so that your characters will only show, reveal like 10 feet at a time and not show us behind them. Pants or no pants? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, wait. We don't want it to be that scary, Jeff. That's too scary. I want you guys to know, too, I went all out that encounter with Jabba the Hutt. I actually looked up, um, Paizo puts out a, a pre-made characters for every class for levels 1, 4, and 8. So I actually read how to play an operative soldier and a witch warper for that encounter. And then it never really materialized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. Well, maybe you could use them again for a future fight. Oh, yeah. yeah but this so- is just like learning about how to Holman's fancy spell. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, it, it's fine. I don't mind learning about those guys. And I think it was it was nice to see that you didn't necessarily need to kill everything to get through combat. And that was my goal from the start, was to make sure that there were ways around just killing everything. Thanks, Pop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Although you uh, you now have some insights in how Ozzy's character and uh, Ghost's character work, so that's kind of cool. All right, gentlemen. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Stay safe, guys and gals. We'll talk to you uh, in about a week. You, you too, Andrew. Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Bye, guys. Good night, all. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> all right, thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm logging off. Thank <laughs> you.